Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. Woo! I am. Woo! Woo! Thank Eva! you. Thank you for cheering for me because I am the best guy ever and I deserve your applause and love. Joining us today, we have the Devu. Mmm, these cookies. I gotta get the recipe from Liz. <laughs> uh, we have Tom Oliver. I'm hungry for a good episode. Damn. Me, uh, aren't we all? You're starving. You're starving, friend. You're I've been starving. waiting since I've been waiting a hundred and nine episodes and we still haven't gotten one. But, but I believe, but I believe we can deliver. Uh hypocrite is here. That's what it sounds like when I'm hooking up some stuff. <laughs> nice. Uh Ben Saints oh, is here. Oh no, my blood sugar. <laughs> ah! Get it get it out. Get it out of me. Get the sugar out of my blood. Get no blood um, sugar, and we've, please. And we've got Munchie. Yo, know, I just cooked some eggs right before this podcast and I've got one singular yolk here, all pristine and shit. I'm about to shove it into my fat, gapy mouth. Dude, Let's go. I have one too. I'm gonna eat it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. I just cooked up a monster, absolutely Ugh. zero energy, in a in a, in a chemical vat. Shove that shit on the PCB. Shove I'm currently <laughs> drinking <laughs> a coffee. Mm. Mm, it tastes like a fresh diaper. I, 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 I've got a juice monster <laughs> energy drink. Pipeline punch right now. I'm gonna fucking drown this, and hopefully my tongue seared off and I can't speak anymore. <laughs> My God, coffee let's, let's is uh, too much. Let's let's all up. hope that happens. Uh, while we introduce our our final special guest, longtime uh, LGBTQ ally of the PCP, <laughs> his name Iconclasm, aka Double Shot, your pony the name. Drinky Pony, Icon Double Shot, Colt. Double it, it Shot, was Icon Colt. <laughs> Icon Colt. I remember because it. I it did fan both. art and it, never showed a anyone. transition. <laughs> oh, he was uh, that. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> Not even Victor. Uh, oh, well, that, that, and that's the man. And that's the man. Victor. Victor Collins. Here he is, everybody. Oh, man. I just ate a, a big hot dog from 7 Eleven and washed it down with Mountain Dew, and now I feel like I'm going to vomit. Into the so. fucking, you're into 7 Eleven food. You unironically eat 7 Eleven food, and that's a thing in your life. I Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's true. Victor. I almost every Victor, day. Your last and it's horrible. Your last name is Collins? I thought your last name was Bro. Yes. Hey. Oh, because of because you, you gotta go to Seven Eleven and you gotta Digi get a fucking bro. a fucking buffalo chicken log. Uh, oh, those are good. I like those. Oh no, I like buffalo chicken those. roller log, dude. Yeah, like, I like those. It's a very but ironically, funny name. I do. Too. I was eating those for a little while and then. Sick. I mean, yeah, they uh, all they all make yeah. me sick. Uh, hey, topic, uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, get the fuck out of my kitchen! You under. Cooking my chicken. It's cooking. You I was just like your father. That's, that's what happened. Uh, we're talking about cooking. We're talking about po boy and rich boy eats alike. They all have a place in our in our lexicon of food. And speaking of lexicons, that has nothing to do with what I'm saying. Also, let's look at Urban Dictionary and see what the fuck is going on with cooking. Here we go. Hang on. I, 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 it's silly me. I searched cocking by mistake, which is texting while urinating. Ooh. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> okay, cooking. Here we go. Um, cooking is a dance trend invented by Lil B what? in that it's only waist <laughs> no. up, designed to be done in front of a webcam. Oh, uh, no. Wait. Incorrect. Incorrect. I don't know anything about uh, this topic. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> cooking. Uh, okay, cooking. This is a good one. Cooking, what you better be doing right now, woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. fucking <laughs> suck. What the Damn. hell? Damn. Oh, that one was funny. Okay, um, cooking. In reference to wannabe comedian Dane Cook. No, uh, okay. Uh, it's, it's when you put the food wait. in the pan and it sizzles. That's what cooking is. Damn. It's when you eat there food. You know, what if you're not using a pan, though? <laughs> that, I mean, that's what, true. Then, that, then that's cold. It's not real cooking, obviously. I suspect we are going to spend easily 45 minutes talking about what is or is yeah, not defined not, as cooking. Let's not is making a sandwich cooking? It, is no, making cooking, a sandwich cooking, cooking, cooking literally is the act of heating something like raw ingredients to make it okay, a meal. Okay, but... but. So, so, so temperature being involved. But here's a question, oh, though, and I said this to Vic beforehand. If I make ice cream, if I make ice cream, when I'm using temperature to create it in the negative, the opposite direction, is that cooking? No. Uh, yes. a, a, cooker, a cooker yes. is a heating Nate, No, 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 no. Nate, do you, do you think it's possible that for one podcast we can like not open it with like <laughs> no, incessant no, 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 actually, let's, wait, let's, let's open this can of worms. Let's open no, this no, can no, of worms. No, 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 no. Famously, I am responsible in 
in Ben's legendary sandwich debates, I, uh-huh. I I am legendary quoted as saying that the American flag is a sandwich, which I stand by. <laughs> what? Uh, because be, like the be, lines? Be, okay, no, no, because the, it's a there are layers on the American flag, which are the 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 thirteen stripes. And, by that and, definition, and, and, and there are so, okay uh, on the bottom there's a red no. stripe, on the top there's no, a red look, stripe, and then the middle look, there look. are white stripes. Here's so here's Munchie, Munchie, Munchie. I, Famously, uh, onions are known to have layers. Does that make an onion a sandwich as well? No, no, because there's not. There's okay. There's not similar layers on the top or the bottom. Look, look, look. If we're talking about this, okay. I just my final final word. My final word on the sandwich debate is that artist intent. Artist intent matters when it comes to a sandwich. Death of the author. Death of the author. Uh, author. No, no. Sandwich has to be deliberately assembled for the purpose of being eaten. That is the American flag. Most certainly was. If the author of food died, you go hungry. Betsy Ross. Betsy Ross just put those stripes Famous in there, like sandwich lips. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. James Ross was like, "Hey, hey, big, can you get me a beer? I'm about to watch the the game." And she and she came back <laughs> out with the American flag, and he was like, "Wow, this is really good." Need to watch the game before uh, games were even invented. Okay. That game was so the one, American let's, Revolution. Let's not have <laughs> yeah. let's not have Nate make this a one hour debate about the definition of wait, food. Wait, wait, no, no, no. I, wait, I, what was Ben going to say? I want to say, okay, here's here's what I think. I think that cooking. Okay, I think that making ice cream is cooking. I think that cooking is cooking is the act of of creating food, but there has to be like chemical chemical processes need to be involved. Like, <laughs> well, what, what if I make what a, about what, what about like yeah, making a uh, making sushi? You know, yeah, sushi. Ooh. Like sushi is pretty intricate, okay. and pretty elaborate. I, like not oh, anyone. You know can what? Do I have What's Gibbs saying? What's Gibbs saying? I've got yeah. a button here. I think it might just be a British thing, an English thing, mm-hmm. but like mm-hmm. ovens. Like the other word for an oven is a cooker, which is where the word cooking uh, comes well, the, from. The re- that's mm, not where the word true. cooking oh, comes no. from. I would argue. Yeah, no, the but in my mind, that's where way. it fucking comes from. No, no, yeah. no, no. Um, I'll kill everyone. The, the, well, sushi, <laughs> this is not important. Well, sushi has rice, and the rice has to be yeah, cooked. Yeah. The rice has. I to have be that's true. Actually, that is true. I have the best definition of cooking. Cooking is. Preparing food to an extent that if you don't like it, you'll procrastinate on it or try to get someone else to do it. That's not bad. Like, uh, 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 so sushi requires requires cooked rice. What about a salad? Making like a complicated salad no. with lots not, of okay, stuff. Not, no, this not, is like not, a funny joke to like cooking. pretend that we're doing it at the beginning and be like, oh, oh no, oh, no, per, guys, it who's was a pretending? Joke. We're actually who's going pretending? On. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm interested in this. The sandwich think, debate is legendary. You, uh-huh. Go on, go on. Like, a, a salad becomes cooking if you are, like, like if you cook grilled chicken and put that in the salad. Well, of course, you know, of course. Then it's cooking. But otherwise, it's not cooking. I feel mm. I, could look, I could work really long and hard on a complicated, decadent salad, with, but that doesn't involve any heat being used. I feel like heat is the main... It is. Well, I don't know. Chemical change. Chemical, chemical, chemical change. change. Chemical, chemical change, change grilled has chicken to, be to put in a salad. About. Because if you say if you say like oh I'm gonna go cook uh you know I'm gonna go go cook like this chicken or whatever but you say I'm going to go make a salad because a salad hmm. does not involve I mean that's cooking. generally that's true. true hey I I see Gib posted the definition of cook I assume it's from like actualdictionary.com actualdictionary.com <laughs> and it yes. says uh, the the definition is just uh, prepare by mixing combining and heating the ingredients and heating is part of the cooking or heating. Heating. Okay, yes. but 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 you can heat negatively by making ice. <laughs> oh, that is, oh, that is it such totally a counts. weird utilitarianism way of defining. <laughs> totally counts. God, is I a negative number so a much. number? I'm not yeah. even ice cream beating around cooking. the bush anymore. Nate maybe Bestman, ice cream's not true. Maybe heat is required. I don't know. I have to say, uh, after probably bullshit. about maybe it, after probably about 300 episodes, we'll probably be able to become like our own like court system because we'll have like legal definitions of fucking everything. By the way, yeah, I have yeah. Nate's other thing he's going to say. I'll just, like, undercut mm. him here. Hey, guys, wouldn't okay. it be much better in Star Trek where you just push a button and food gets made for you? Then you wouldn't have to spend any time cooking at all. You could just spend your life cool. on other things. Quote yeah. from yeah. Ben Nate Bestman, food is full. There's literally food, no fuel. point to talk about That's, this because just food is fuel and just get, like, energy bars. Yeah, um, exactly. I, I, I mean, soil. well, sort of. Just get soy. Yeah, just get soy. Be, be the soy boy you want to see in the world. That's, oh. what, that's my motto. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> all right. I think we're past all that bullshit, finally. No, we're never no. going to be past it. <laughs> you yeah. yeah. really flip flopped on this we, subject forever. We're, we're just going to be, we're just gonna be like a dead fish it. on air. Yeah. Speaking of dead fish. I think if, if you say cook in a context and it sounds retarded, then that's not cooking. Like, you don't say, I'm going to go cook a salad or I'm going to go cook <laughs> ice cream. I, 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 I'm going to go cook some cereal. Thank God. That's not cooking. The voice of reason among <laughs> this, like, yeah. cook, right. cooking is like pornography. We can't define it, but we know it when we see it. 
I, the I, applies exactly. to everything. I yeah. prefer I prefer the term maestro in the kitchen. I like to be referred to as maestro <laughs> when, I, when I'm cooking my top ramen. Mine Wait, <laughs> that reminds me. That reminds me. Let's bust open this legendary debate that was, I was first introduced to in an f- episode of Full Metal Alchemist when Winry and that stupid book girl were arguing. Is cooking a science or an art? It is an art. It's an art. It's a fucking art. No, it's I, an alchemy. It's a science. They it's fucking a fucking know? art, dude. What do you, wait, it's what a cold, you calculated, meticulous, sociopathic No, you science. gotta have that creativity sure. when you're ripping up shit that no one's thought of. You gotta have it's that creativity, both. that passion yeah. when you yeah, bring no. together shit I that mean, no fucking, one's thought fucking of before. Literally, painting is also a science. You yeah. need to know how to mix the colors I mean, correctly. that's true. They're, right, no, I remember Extra both. Credits, their old episodes, they would say that video gaming is, uh, game design is an alchemy because it's a mixture between science and art. So you, I Alchemy's assume, not a the real fu- word. Whoa, what the fuck is, they just made that shit up. They just love potions. They just love that. Right. Alchemy. What? I just want to get my face extra credits context. out like, there. Like, like, like there is things to do in it. Like, you can change <laughs> yeah. it and, ma- and make you know, it different. You know, you like know, like Leonardo da Vinci, known alchemist because he did both science and uh, <laughs> art. Wow, what, yeah, a, what a exactly. good. Yeah, all right, all right. You know, I always, I hate this argument because you can kind of apply it to anything That's in true. life if That's you true. decide to perceive no. it. It's really like, it's kind of like artistic intent. Right. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, mm-hmm. if, are you intending to make a dish that is new and is your art and you're assembling it and it's beautiful? Or are <laughs> you just you like do cooking? Day day do you work at yeah. fucking Arby's and you're just assembling a sandwich yeah, to no. hand to someone? So, then it's so not I, I art I think both anymore. art yeah. and yeah. science is more of a mindset in its creation rather than the end result, but you can usually I see. Bet, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so for example, if it's like, hmm, what do I like on my spaghetti the most? And so, like, today I try, you know, tomato sauce. Next day I try Alfredo. Next day I try putting hamburger in. Next day I try putting chicken in. And I take notes about exactly how much I liked each thing. And then I collect the data and make my best decisions from there. That's science. Well, that's, I mean, no. Right. I, I want to severely destroy this it's conversation. The, because the, yeah, yeah, it's because another if, if, if about the end art. result is, if the, if, the, if the only data no. you're collecting is how much do no. I like it, like, that's not science. Like, no. that's you're being a real Nate this episode. Okay. You're being a real Nate oh, right God. Now. Guys, what is your favorite food that you can cook? Oh, uh, oh. Fried chicken. Uh, uh, Sausage and eggs. Bird's nest, which is an e- which is a bread that you pull the center out of and you cook an egg inside the bread and then you eat it that way. Cheesy scrambled eggs. Oh, I, I would say these probably to the be most delicious thing I can make would be like <laughs> a big old slab of chicken with like uh, on a bagel with like cheese or wait, mayonnaise, wait. something like that, with maybe an egg or something. That's good. I also want to change my answer though. Ice cream. You can make ice cream? Hot damn. Uh, I I have. I have. Uh, that's cool. Nate just that's making so a joke weird. that isn't even a joke. I'm making a... That's, I'm making that's a, not it's, funny. That's I'm why laughing. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm laughing. not even reacting to it. <laughs> I don't get it. Tom, what's uh, your favorite food? My favorite food that I can cook or favorite food in general? That he can cook. No, th- this is not the food podcast. This is the cooking know, podcast. Just, so all the, the food trash. The question left it ambiguous. Cooking, good. I, I, I like making omelets. I, I make a mean omelet. I enjoy yeah. the, the alchemy of, of combining ingredients with the egg to make good the omelets. Alchemy. Omelets, not, omelets <laughs> no, aren't cooking. Stop. I'm an alchemist. What? I'm a maestro. What it, what an omelet. They, they like, call me the shit. omelet alchemist. It's, an it's, omelet, it's, is just, oh, an omelet is just an egg sandwich. It's not really cooking. Dude, it doesn't count. In, in Full Metal Alchemist, oh, it literally Tom was is. known. Oh, it is. that's Tom's... literally true. It is. Uh, oh, Anything Christ. is a sandwich because it's sandwiched when you eat it between the top and the bottom halves of your mouth. No, no. <laughs> No, no but when you bite down, it becomes a sandwich. When you open your mouth, okay, it stops no, being a sandwich. Okay, no, we're not getting the sandwich. We're not getting the sandwich bait. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, I want to know. Hey, okay, here's my question. I want to go around and I want to hear from everybody. Because again, this is not the food podcast. Food doesn't matter. This is the cooking PCP. I want to hear about everyone's day to day relationship with cooking. How much do you do? How much do you fear it? And are you good at it? Like, what do you eat? I want to. I want to know. I want to know um, everybody's thing. I don't like cooking just because I'm not good at it and I'm not interested. Mm-hmm. And I preferably, I would like to ascend to a higher plane where food no longer matters to me and it is just fuel. Oh, so I'm yeah. constantly moving I toward agree. a state where oh, I can. Oh, you're all fucking I miserable. Agree. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. There's. The, I I enjoy I enjoy the results of good cooking, but I am not good invested pooping. enough in the skill. <laughs> To, 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 to cultivate it in myself. I like I, when other sure. people cook delectable meals for me that I can enjoy, yeah, yeah. but I do not want to invest my time into doing it myself because there are other things mm. I would prefer doing with that time. I Cooking. don't even appreciate... I mean, it's not... Okay, okay, if someone makes a great dish, like, I'll appreciate that it's good, and I'll enjoy it for what it is. But, but I'll like, still the, beat the shit out of him for but, having the audacity no, to but do the it. But the sad fact, like, the sad <laughs> fact that I have come to realize is that I'd be almost as happy just eating, mm. like, a boiled egg. 
Like, I would not, be okay. almost yeah. as happy. You're, you're a okay. nightmare. Okay, cooking is one of those, <laughs> one of those traits that I dream I about and, like, agree. romanticize about every single day of my fucking life. There's not mm. a day that goes by when I don't think about the timeline where I literally am Gordon Ramsay. Crawling <laughs> around the, the, the warped and twisted streets of bombed-out France, living paycheck to paycheck, paycheck, fucking every bitch I can, and not even caring about the eggs I'm slamming together. <laughs> from the best and getting the shit beat out of me in the fucking twisted streets of Tokyo. I will say, if you had, like, if you were all about food, like, there was no fucking, like, anime or cartoons or homesick within you, it was all food, and you became mm-hmm. the, fu- the, the, like, the protege for Ramsey, you probably would be qualified for him to pass the torch to. It'd be just like the next JoJo, where there's, like, slightly different attributes, but it's ultimately the same screamy, shouty yeah. man. Anime and homesick has ruined your dreams. I know, right? saying. It's, true. Yep. it's sapped away. I, I, if left to my own devices, I mm-hmm. will like, I will make bagels, I will make, not make, but like, I will You'll eat bagels, toast. I will eat ramen, yeah, yeah. toast, uh, <sighs> I, I, occasionally I will like, do a fry up of bacon and eggs and stuff, but I will Hell never yeah. really go to the lengths that, you know, my dad would go to, to have like a Sunday roast, or, mm. or anything, mostly because I'm never, never cooking for more than one person. Right, it's, it's right. just me, and just me. I can get beh- I can get by with like I can just buy a loaf of bread and eat that, you know. But I, what I do love, because like cooking itself is like you only I only cook when I'm hungry, and by that point I'm too oh, um, I'm I too agitated too to like yeah. wait. Yeah, dude. Definitely. And it's, but what I love doing instead of cooking is baking. I love baking desserts, mm. cakes, I, uh, dude, awesome. like anything I like hate that. Baking. I hate baking. It I is... love it so much. It's something I would do even if I didn't want to eat it afterwards. I love waking and bacon. <sighs> if you know what I mean. Uh... No, I don't know what you mean, but I don't want you to explain. Baking <laughs> is too complicated, and there's too much science in it. No, but it's like... It's basically impossible. And it's like, but oh, like baking... how much fucking egg and it's, how much it's, flour it's, it's do I put in? It's alchemic balance. Who fucking knows? The right, alchemic right. balance between hit, hit. science and art of, of baking is way off for me. You're just not an alchemist. <laughs> yeah, but like, here's the thing with baking. In, with cooking, usually it's like heating stuff up, and you have to time things to be cooked at the right yeah, time, yeah. and then put them all on the plate and make sure you eat it before it gets cold. And you can't let things get cold because then they're gross. With baking, time is basically completely gone. It just you can do it at any time. You can cook it, and then or you can bake it, and you can prepare it, maybe bake it, and then you can just leave it <laughs> and yeah. in the fridge. And it's just like a you know a chocolate brownie it's or a, a pause cake or, or a thing. Basically. And it's like, there's no time investment at all, there's no time pressure, it's just, like, really relaxing. Like, even baking a loaf of bread. That's yeah. true. I guess that's, that's true. true. That's I mean, what I like baking. about it. I don't know. But I don't really have much to say on, on the subject of specifically baking, but what I did want to say was just, I don't cook a lot. I cook rarely, which is bad, because I, I should uh, cook more to get the more specific nutrient requirements I need, instead I'll, you know, kind of slap it together from stuff that's around. So I, I want to improve that, but... I do generally love the feeling of once I have committed and I have cooked something great and I have shared it with people and I see them, in, excuse me, enjoying it and appreciating it. That, it, that that's kind of what I wanted to say. That's the, the communal real aspect shit, of dude. cooking is yes! the real shit. It's oh, the best. Nate. It is oh, Nate. So, oh, I'm with is, you on this podcast. I'm, I'm, fi- I'm finally an episode yeah. where I'm with Nate. The, the rare Munchie Nate alliance in yeah. a PCP episode. It's been forged this day. So, so rare, but so powerful <laughs> once it's a pick. What is it you guys are agreeing on? A, a certain type of cooking? Cooking for other people yeah. is one of the oh. most enjoyable things in this you life. Know, in this uh, life. Hmm. I've, I've met some chefs, actually, yeah. where it seems like people who become chefs are becoming chefs because they enjoy cooking for other people. Yeah. And it's yeah. usually like... They had a grandma that taught them how to cook, and that grandma would cook for the whole family, and then they got inspired by that, and they yeah. wanted to cook because they want to give other people food and not Aww, themselves. That's nice. mm-hmm. Which is pretty interesting, you know, that that's what would drive that, someone to want to do that. That's kind of the way I feel about baking. Like, I would I would bake a bunch of brownies, and I would, like, like really enjoy giving it to the rest of the family. Just, like, like uh, you, you wanna, you, you, what do you think about these, these chocolate things? Do you like them? Yeah. I'm listening, hippo. Don't worry. I'm listening. I'm, listening. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm yes, too that high. is great. I'm too high to listen. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh, that, I was think there I a joke? About, I'm sorry. I, I didn't. I, 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 I so 
Uh, <laughs> how, like, my favorite way to bond with friends, or just, like, go out and mm. experience the world, is through restaurants. And my favorite thing to do is just to yeah. get together with my offline friends and go to a restaurant and just eat together. Something about, like, the, like, the feeling of, like, eating, like, with, with you know, your, your relatives or people you're in a yeah, relationship yeah. with. It's just really, it, it's better than talking alone. It just feels super, like, base and, like, and, like, uh primitive and it feels like you're a real human that's true and, like, you're I, I was gonna say I, I like i share tom's like rage at the fact that i'm trapped in this weak fleshy prison of a body and that i have to like you know eat regularly to fuel it and stuff like oh it's so annoying but considering that that's the reality that i'm in like just using food as a tool to like make people like you i mean it doesn't have to be like you know oh. uh, 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 maniacal or anything <laughs> but just like 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 f- eating a meal is like when everybody has to be together. Like, you, you can't escape it. So it's a great time to, like, talk to people and, like, get to know people better and, and bond just over sharing a meal with other people. I, I, I should and have if you realized it, that, that me yeah. and you are coming out of this different angles. I want, I, 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 I want to cook and, and, like, be around people just as a nice thing. And it's like, how can I, like, force people to be around me? How, how can I force I'm just them thinking, to like me? I'm just more woke, Munchie. I'm just more woke. <laughs> I thought black pills. I, I put a few more black pills in my muffins, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, oh I know what you're Show. saying. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some there's something so like alluring about the about like the chef lifestyle, where whenever mm. I'll watch like a high level sh- uh, chef, it's like they're a cowboy. It's like they're a cowboy in the arrest, and they don't give a shit about anything. They get, oh, just, oh, you know, put some <laughs> salt in there, just like slam it around. You know, just, you know, uh, like like like, <laughs> like w- w- when you when you're cooking like steak or something, just pick it up with your bare fucking hands. I don't even care. Here's... I don't feel anything in my hands. Just slam it on the table. I don't give a shit. I'm self-determined as hell, and cooking does not phase me where I don't even like food. I hate eating. Gordon Ramsay doesn't eat. He literally just, like, tastes stuff of what he's eating. He's not have meals. That's a thing about him that is true. Really? Yeah. Wow. Here's 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 a, here's an unpopular opinion. Here's an... Okay, okay. I think that food... I'll hit you for it, so... Food is... Prepared. Food is sort of art in the, in the way that porn is sort of art. I think food is basically no. porn. Oh. And I think that it's oh, cheap and oh, tawdry. Oh, no. Wait, no, 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 no. Because, no, no, listen, hear me no. out, hear me out. Because, I kind of, I kind no. of know where you're going with this, yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah. Because why? food, okay, food, like sex, is just a thing. It's just a thing. You know, like, like, like it's a like, primal instinct. It's mean? like a primal yeah, instinct yeah. that we're all forced, that we're all forced to enjoy. Like, like, we can't help that about ourselves, that we like food. Mm. And you just like <clears> porn, you know, there's, there's, a, there's, there's some pretty simple forms. I mean, you could get artistic with it if you wanted, but it's also mm, easy right. to make some very satisfying and delicious food slash porn with like some well, pretty easy to find ingredients like you just throw a shit ton of butter in, in there and you know whatever i have a similar <laughs> I have a, this is from the perspective of a literal record yeah hold on <laughs> I, have a, I have a similar i have a similar wouldn't, wouldn't butter but itself be different. art though like because like yeah. butter isn't something that just naturally happens like butter is science like, butter hold on is so science. okay so i ate butter stupid Ben, I have a similar attitude towards it as you, but I come to it from a very different angle. I see it as, um, if you go back to, if you just think of humans as just as an entity unto themselves, forget the actual con- context or culture they're in. They could be born today or 10,000 years ago, right? You know, food, eating, having sex, having shelter, it's all equally important. You know, maybe you'll have entertainment if you need it. So the thing is, because eating and uh, eating is a higher priority, right? Humans have spent a lot longer amount of time, put way more man hours into perfecting the craft of food. S- to the point that by the 20th century, pretty much everyone who's, you know, at least decently privileged has access to basically most food, right? And we've basically got it down. I think that over the course of thousands of years, there was a lot of experimentation, a lot of studying, a lot of stuff that feels like real art and discovery. But we've sort of, like, figured it out. And similarly with porn, it's had a lot less time to advance, but because people care about porn so hard, uh, it, like, figured out its formula and it, what it needs to be a lot quicker. Well, Meanwhile, stuff like... What do you like, mean we figured out food? Because we don't know shit about nutrition. People are right, fucking yeah, up constantly. Nutrition is an, is an all-new front, but when it comes to, like, okay, okay. food that tastes good and feels satisfying, sure, it's, like okay, hitting, okay. it's like hitting a fucking equilibrium goddamn uh, singularity mm. with, like, every single month... KFC and Taco Bell is inventing a new thing that's like basically another delicious exactly. food stacked on how, another how delicious food. How can you food? look at the KFC double down and not call it art? Okay, I think the double down <laughs> is like 
I, that's, it's a meme I really hate because all it is is just chicken where the bread would be. I, I think I think the KFC famous bowl is pretty much the pinnacle of society. Yeah. See, I think it's the whole there. double down meme is like there. fucking retarded because all it is is just you're just swapping out bread with chicken. It's I don't such think it's a that simple bad. but powerful change. Look, it's, 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 it's <laughs> minimalism. The double down it was, it was right there before minimalism. us the whole time. We simply needed to open our eyes yeah. and realize. People describing the double down as disgusting. I think those people are all fucking retarded. But there are other I things in the KFC menu. I don't see what's so bad about right. it. It's mean there it's just chicken, like it's fried chicken. Yeah, there's it's definitely other things on the menu. There's technically less carbohydrates if you get yeah. uh, double down. Yeah. Than, well, it's there's keto. a lot of breading it's on those. Keto. Yeah, well. yeah. It's not fucking keto. Well, right. it's breaded right. chicken. But but anyway, so meanwhile, stuff like comics or fucking even literature, right? There's like <laughs> yeah, there's so much paleo. more That's progress what the to make, used to eat. Right? Yeah, double down. <laughs> <laughs> they would just reach over, like in the Garden of Eden, Adam would reach over to the bush and pluck a decadent <laughs> double down. What, what just down that, like, that sucker in one day. God, God. God. And Colonel Sanders, a.k.a. God. God, would give them a <laughs> <Yeah. them. laughs> <laughs> to, to re- catch their daily double down. But dude, like, yeah. so if you think about how much we figured out food, like we basically know what most people like. There's a restaurant for almost every sensible taste in the book. Meanwhile, tastes in movies or comics or books is... Even though we've made so much progress, there's still much more formulation for them to make. And at this point, we're probably heading towards some sort of perfection there within a hundred years or so with algorithms like data collecting no, every opinion possible. I don't know. Maybe yeah, it'll maybe, work. Maybe. Maybe, maybe it's possible. Maybe it's possible I, I don't think that, it's with true enough, that... that with enough, like if we live in a post-singularity society and we have like every fucking, like everyone's making art, there might be like a homestuck for every single opinion you could have coming out like no, every couple listen, of months. listen, that'll never well, hey, happen well, 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 because well, well, of the principle of diminishing returns. Even if a perfect story were crafted that everyone it's, loved it's more than anything else, story. it would eventually like, become boring and we would need something else because that's, that's it wouldn't what I said. be fun you forever. My, this was, I, I picked my words carefully. A homestuck for every type of opinion coming out every two months. Okay. Okay. Well, what, what, what was what was Vic saying though? I want to hear. I want to hear Vic twice. I was gonna say I don't agree with the idea that cooking has become like this singularity. Right. No, it's it's not like because, actually perfect. Yeah. It's so much. It's so much yeah. closer. It's so much like further up on that hill that it feels. I mean, it less might just be because yeah. like right? satisfying the taste buds is a much simpler thing than satisfying ones well, like we artistic think of it preferences. As simple because we've spent media. like ten thousand years advancing agriculture. Well, and I, commerce, I don't necessarily right? agree with that. But I, I mean, is it is it crazy to think that like. It is true. Satisfying the palate is just an objectively less complicated maybe, thing than satisfying. Maybe, I mean, I consider myself like, someone. I consider yeah. myself someone with a very unrefined yeah. palate, so maybe I don't have much we room know. to like comment on this. <laughs> so maybe someone well, with a very developed y- 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 like y- y- flavor palate that, but might, like, might sure. just like just okay. like really complex stimulation. For example, like oh, yeah. I, I don't need much at all. Oh hey, I'll put some salt on it. Salt was an incredibly difficult thing to get throughout most well, of human history, right? Well, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. You might think, well, that doesn't in, sound in like that's society. not like it's not like mentally strenuous from the from the perspective of a cook, but from the broader cultural, from the broader like all of society working together, like the fact that you have a spice rack, dude. Spices used to control like the commerce of the entire fucking planet, right? But now it's just casual. So like they they it, they were the bitcoins of their that's, generation. That's kind of what I was getting at in the fact that there's. Like, I still think that is going to continue to evolve because there's still mm-hmm. resources that are more scarce. Right. And, like, there are food trends that come out where it's like, now there's a million pomegranate drinks because now pomegranate is easier to farm. Right. We're, we're making GMO fruits that can actually fucking when, reproduce when themselves and not die out. When will we have preservation techniques that will allow the pawpaw fruit to come back into wide circulation? Jeez, exactly. Right. Uh, exactly. We need the pawpaw I need paw fucking, fruit. I need pawpaw it's, flavored Mountain Dew <laughs> yes. fucking 7-Eleven or I'm going to lose you, my it's the mind. only fruit native to America. We need it. It's a symbol of Wait, America. We true? have to make is... America great again with the pawpaw. Are, are you not referring yes. to the pawpaw fruit from One Piece that Bartholomew Kuma canonically Wait, ate? No, no, no. There's no? a real fruit. It's, it's from called the pawpaw. The, the pawpaw fruit. It's like they still grow in uh, Virginia and West Virginia, uh-huh. but it's like a it's a it's like a Virginia native fruit. Doesn't the pawpaw suck? I don't know if it's shit. Virginia native. Isn't that its defining characteristic? <laughs> is that it's not? People good. say it's really good. I've it's heard super it's okay. overpowered in One Piece. It's really strong in One Piece. Uh, <laughs> Victor, are we going to get into I want the GMO some. discussion in this episode? Because I feel like that might be important to cook in. Yeah, we could we could go off on some. Fucking GMOs. I, I, I can fucking when you when you that light shit. that match, you can't stop it. That doesn't really have, well, doesn't have anything to do with cooking. It's really more about agriculture. But well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm happy to pro talk about GMO that. to death. Goddamn, you're, you're pro GMO to death, huh? Yeah, 
There's a good documentary on Hulu that you could watch that'll make uh-huh. you fucking red pilled for GMOs. Okay. But basically, it's all bullshit. Like. GMOs are fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's just fucking you're you're just splicing DNA and that's I mean, completely yeah, badass. Like, yeah, like just people people, people with chemicals or pesticides. I don't know much right. about it, but like all it is, like you just change in their genes. That doesn't make them right. like radioactive yeah. or poisonous or anything. Yeah. Right? It, 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 and people act like it's fucking it's poison. It's just right. doing faster what we've been doing literally all of our species existence. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Like, uh, and did, changing and breeding. Did you guys okay, know that carrots used to be purple? No, no, did you Whoa. guys know? Okay, okay. Yeah, did you know dogs used to be wolves and now we have pugs and <laughs> wait, they're fucking wait. retarded? No, here's that... We have dogs that can literally sneeze their own eyeballs out of their skull. <laughs> yes! Wait, here's something that legitimately blew my mind. Okay, like spinach, broccoli, uh, uh, spinach, oh, yeah. broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, or, they're all Brussels the sprouts, same plant. They all are, they all are descendants yeah. from wild mustard. That's I right. didn't That's know right. that. They were, like, they're the same plant that were just selectively br- uh, bred for different traits. Oh, Maybe. so like yeah, Brussels sprouts exactly. are like a tiny, tiny, tiny little cabbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I found Whoa. that out, and I was like, "Holy shit!" That's adorable. Yeah, it is. I still adorable. don't like to eat shit them. like a uh, like with bananas. Like they 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 basically it's still selective breeding. It's just forced into the DNA where they're just taking traits from other plants and putting them in so that they won't die from like mass viruses. Yeah, and like. Without that, then the economies of the places that are fucking growing the bananas would tank because all the bananas would die, and then we wouldn't have bananas yeah, anymore yeah. without GMOs. So it's like it's praise GMOs, <laughs> and the the people that spread the fear of it, like this this, this is a good documentary, fucking and it shows that at the end that basically like it shows bitches. the yeah. The, the funding for those fucking documentaries are all coming from places like Whole Foods and shit. Yeah. Because it's yeah. their agenda to sell all this non-GMO stuff because it's a trendy now, buzzword. Now, to be fair, is is not pos- some of the fear that, like, in the future there will be consequences as opposed to right now of using uh, GMOs? Is that is that just relevant? Just scare tactics, dude. I, I don't. I, I think like the consequences would be that the the uh-huh. only consequence would be that like the viruses would change to uh, right. adapt to the new yeah, DNA but awesome. then we would just GMO are we them have, again are we so have like the there's no pug problem. equivalent of fruits is that what the end game for GMOs <laughs> is going to be so, sorry to interrupt yes. but how do i sound yeah. is my mic still working you sound yeah. fine yep okay. you sound fine okay. Uh, like yeah, uh, well, what, uh, you know, this is all very interesting and all, but there's, I think, the audience really, there's just one thing they came oh, for no. and well, one it's thing be something only. Something stupid, isn't it? It's gonna be no, retarded. no, no. Okay, Victor, I want to know about the philosophy of the po' boy eats. I just want to know everything uh, <laughs> that goes on in that world. Tell me about so, it. So <laughs> I mean, this is. The, the, the series was inspired by the fact that I cook these super simple dishes for me and Hope mm-hmm. every day. Almost every, not every day at all, but <laughs> but basically enough. But it's all I fucking know how to do. <laughs> but like I I know other fucking broke ass dudes who are like like I have a friend who it, it gets on me all the time for like the way I eat and stuff, mm-hmm. and he literally just eats peanut butter and granola sandwiches <laughs> so that he can save his money so that one day he can fucking buy a boat. And I'm like, <laughs> you are you are killing yourself. I can't eat right. just a peanut butter and granola sandwich. Like, my dad will eat rice. Mixed with corn and pea, right. yeah, and that yeah. He, that's a satisfying dinner to him. Right. Like I can't do that, right? And, and like you can you can be kind of broke and also make yourself food that makes you not want to kill yourself, right? You know, well, just yeah. so everybody knows, I mean, in, in case you missed it, we have to link this in the show notes or wherever of about course. the the red the Radcon three po boy yeah, eats that, that was that made. Poor no, boy, that was the, an the absolute world, fucking nightmare. that was an award winning. What, what an film. art piece that was. That was definitely <laughs> alchemy going on in that video for sure. Right. That was All right. Yes. I I gotta say, I tried yeah. noodles on bread, uh, oh, like just the other day because I just felt oh, like God. I was cooking noodles and I was like. You know, I don't remember the 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 you know the Victor Burger being uh-huh. that bad. I I, 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 I want to try <laughs> no, it again. No. I want to try noodles on bread, and it was pr- it was quite good. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh yeah, you know, I'm glad that was on a bad. Wha- well, the Japanese do that. They'll have like the fucking uh, the noodles on like the hot dog buns and stuff, right? Yeah, that's true. Though there, there's like yeah. a bunch of other shit too. Like but the that yakisoba is true. hot dog bun shit. And right, stuff. Like, that's right. They there's people experimenting uh, far beyond what I've been doing. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's the, just the, not in America. We're just we're we're, we're used to this Japan, very fucking, fucking crazy clean looking fucking food. Pond. Yeah. Hey, you while know? we're on the subject of while we're on the subject of simplistic food, like I didn't end up talking about like my lifestyle with cooking. So here's the thing mm-hmm. with me and cooking, the the tensions I have with it are like weird so i love cooking i find it therapeutic i find doing the dishes to be therapeutic 
The problem mm -hmm. is I just mm -hmm. never take the time to like do it because I want to like work on videos more. So I have yeah. the same problem yeah. as Hippo where by the time I finally set about to cook, uh, I'm too fucking hungry, and so then it's just almond butter sandwich. So what I need to do, <laughs> what I do when I really like, kind of have my shit together, is just make a whole bunch of food, put it in the fridge. Right now, wait, I wait, have was that a, was that an oh, that almond sucks. butter sandwich, or is that a was that a all the butter? No, sandwich? no, no, almond butter okay. sandwich, yeah, like one even, stick of butter sandwich, yeah. okay, or like right, gotcha. even cashew butter sandwich, which is even better. Oh, that's good here's, stuff. But yeah, so mm -hmm. like here's so, the, yeah. right now, I don't have a microwave though, so I can't. I, I I've just been eating like cold leftovers that I make. But here's the other thing. It's about simplistic food, right? I only got one recently. <laughs> like, as I was getting older, as I was, like, you know, becoming 15, 16, 17, some of my friends were like, oh, wow, you cook food? That's, like, so helpful, right? I'm like, oh, I'm a helpful person who cooks? I don't know. And so then, leading up to moving in to the bro house with Digi and Victor and, and uh, Ben mm -hmm. and whatnot, I'm like, okay, so I guess I cook. Maybe I'll be useful for cooking. But then what it turns out is, oh... The reason why people don't cook is that they want to have, like, actual food and not just, like, something that you make with, like, three ingredients, which is what I always eat. Like, I'm just like, okay, what ingredients do I yeah. have? Oh, well, I have some chicken. Oh, I have spinach. Oh, I have uh, mushrooms. Oh, I have some onions. I have carrots. All right, I'll saute this. And I'm like, that for me is, like, as good of a meal as I can have. Like, I'm not quite as crazy about, like, weirdly who, simplistic who meals. Who be okay with that? That sounds right. pretty good yeah. to me. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Like, that, like... Cause like Digi like I'll was, eat like rice, broccoli, yeah. and a chicken breast. Yeah, and that's well, like, like decadent. Because Digi you know? was saying like, yeah, you know, I just don't like cooking. I, I, can't, I can't, I don't know how to cook. And I'm like, oh well, dude, if you want to know how to cook, all you gotta do is yeah. just make spaghetti, right? Then the next day or whenever you feel like making spaghetti again, make it with like hamburger meat or chicken meat, right? Then yeah. next time, put in some like mushrooms and green peppers in there, right? So just keep making spaghetti and amp up the fucking ingredients one at a time, right? Yeah. But then yeah. like Digi, then like a month later in another episode of Digi Bros, he's like, huh, DeVoo's telling me how to make spaghetti. I know how to make spaghetti. Like, he, basically what he was saying is the reason why he doesn't want to cook... The reason Does why he, he though? The reason why he can't cook can... by his own definition is that he wants cooked food to be, like, more complex and not, like, the way that his dad would eat food. So, what I found out is that even though I like making food, I don't like making food for other people because people don't ever want to eat what I'm going to make for the most part. I, I think it's too the food, that you, the, food that I've, the food that I've seen you cook is pretty weird. It's pretty weird. Like, you'll have for like me, it's just like brown I don't... rice. You'll have like yeah. brown rice, like a piece of chicken, and then like a pile of like steamed shredded carrot or something. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Because like for me, okay. I just right. don't ever care it, about like well, the. I don't, maybe I just I don't, hate carrots. I mostly don't uh, care about enough. like the the precise execution, like the difference between like exactly how long you might want to broil something or like breading something correctly or like having the like uh, ratio of ingredients be correct. I, I became cognizant no, of this when like yeah. when, when Digi was saying like, oh, you know, the reason you go to Kevin's doghouse is because it's got the perfect ratio of bun to wiener to uh, chili. And I'm like, oh yeah, ratios. I kind of don't care. I just sort of think, what are some ingredients I like? Do those ingredients go well together? put them together like it's just very caveman like for me and that I, I mean, remember, that, when that, that's why you, it's so mm. fucking cowboy like because, it, because you don't have to give a shit to cook you do not have to care and, that, yeah. and that's what makes cooks so cool is that they're just constantly like cynical and pessimistic and they, and oh. they have no <laughs> passion or life left um, in their body there's something about that that is completely my approach to cooking they, they just 100%. beat fucking bowls together and out comes when, a flaming yawn when I ben, cook. pause pause what was Gibbs saying well, I was gonna say, my dad, yeah. he's, like, been cooking his whole life, and he's, like, the cook of the family, and he's, like, really, really good in it, and I love Hell everything yeah. he cooks, but mm -hmm, when I was mm -hmm. trying to learn from him, like, I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta step up to the plate, I gotta try and cook things, and he doesn't have, like, n he doesn't know timings for anything, yeah. he just, like, over the course of being a cook for so long, yeah. he just instinctively knows how long you're supposed to cook a piece of thing and, and at what temperature. I have to keep right. asking him, what temperature do I reheat this thing at? What about this? How long do I go? And just go, just go until it's brown and then put the thing in. Yeah, I'm like that. Like, really yeah, casual. That's I, know, I, I, I know, like, in my heart of hearts when the chicken is probably done. Like, I mean, I double check, <laughs> yeah. but, you know. 
It's like jazz, man. Yeah. Cooking is like jazz. When I yeah. yeah, when I when I cook, I will like I'll start cooking with a thing in mind. I won't check to see if we have the ingredients. I will just kind of start <laughs> going and then I'll just I'll just make whatever oh. substitutions I feel like right. as we go. You want to talk about it, the I do it cowboy style. Hi. And you well, we hit a wall in other places where you got to bring yeah, it up. Yeah. Huh? What? 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 Oh yeah, so uh, like the the reason why I wanted Ben to be on this episode is that me and Ben were I, I, I played witness to Ben trying to make his infamous like rhubarb pie shit back at Digi's it was, house. It was the it was the barb pie. It was, right. a, it was a strawberry mm. rhubarb pie with blueberries. That sounds right. good. But the but the thing yeah, was, you thought, I'm gonna make this rhubarb pie, right? And you're like, okay, well let me look at the ingredients. And one by one, by one by one by one, you had like maybe two out of the ten ingredients. And just <laughs> substituted and substituted over and over and over again. Whoa. Just some out of this, those like... substitutions were legit. Yeah. Like, like substituting flour okay. for stretch. cornstarch is legit. And it was just sometimes. the most Ben experience I've ever had. Just like this. <laughs> what, how how this, did it just turn like, out? Like, what were you left with? Okay, it turned out, okay, it would have been a fine pie. The only thing was <laughs> that there was not enough filling. So the filling mm. kind of baked down into just kind of like a, a film. So it kind of just became, like, really thin bars of, like, pie crust with kind of a thin, gooey, like, layer of, of, you know, Mm. of Davu barb uh, coating the top of it. It was, I mean, it wasn't gross or anything, but it was not a pie. Oh, right, because we were were looking for... Yeah, we were looking for rhubarb, and, like, we literally went, like, all around Virginia fucking beach, even to, like, the Asian food store to find rhubarb. There was just no fucking rhubarb anywhere. We grow that shit in our fucking garden up, up, yeah, up north. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's more of a northern thing. Yeah, I guess so. And um, then oh, Ben, but, bites, in, ben bites into that, and he thinks, you know, I could have eaten a hard-boiled egg. That's the problem, Ben. It's, <laughs> it's not the food. It's that you're making a weird, filmy, disgusting, like, fish tank food pie. Um... You guys remember who was who was there for it when I made the um the uh the Swedish fish flavored fried Oreos? Vic, were you no. there for that? Jeez, I, 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 was that during a Radcon? I, I don't think I was there. At Radcon I don't two, uh, that. Uh, you and me made Dorito uh, breaded fried chicken. I remember that. I remember oh, that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they didn't really. That didn't really they work. didn't taste like Doritos. They needed to be dusted with Dorito dust after frying, like right, that's not right. before. Oh, that Ben, remember the thing. fucking crock pot? <laughs> Chernobyl yeah, crock pot. The, the crock pot. Okay. Do you remember? Okay. Do you remember the final days of the crock pot? Well, I remember the time <laughs> when it. Well, when there was that one crock pot that dragged out for a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Like we had like chicken and vegetables in the crock pot. This was like this was right before we retired it for good. Yeah. Um. So there were chicken and vegetables in there, and it had been cooking for. It had been in there hot for like two days. It was very dried out. It was not well, good. We, so we what I did to... was we went we went to yeah. the supermarket, and I picked up some cans of soup. I got like cheese and right. beer flavored soup, and oh, I just what and I just fuck? dumped cans of cheese and beer flavored soup into why? the crock right. pot and mixed them with Hold the dried like, need to like make this clear. the dried so up like, like meat and ben... to to moisten it up so I could eat it again. Right, right. So, <laughs> so basically, okay. you know, so like Ben like set a crock pot and like the mid-afternoon and i thought it was digi's crock pot for some reason and like i i had heard it, that the crock was. pot was done was supposed to be done yeah. at 10 p.m 10 p.m 10 p.m comes and i'm the only one still awake and i thought well it's digi's crock pot digi's relatively responsible he'll remember but it was actually sure. ben's crock pot i assume he was asleep so the next morning comes up i wake up and i'm like i'm hearing a sizzling what's the sizzling and i look and i see the crock pot has been on full blast all fucking night it's all dried mm. up. And, like, and Deji comes down and is like, oh, shit, Ben's going to have to throw this away. Then Ben wakes up and he's like, hmm, I don't think I have to throw this away. So, like, you just, <laughs> you, like, neither of us, like, take a single stab at it. We don't even want to, like, be in the same zip code. But you're like, eh, nibble, nibble, uh, I like mean, I mean, that. you know, nibble, nibble. <laughs> and, then, yeah, you eventually God. get, like, fucking, like, cheese and beer soup to, like, to, like basically oh, just make it no. worse. Just to make it fucking worse. That's... And so I you mean, have, there's a certain logic there. That's the perfect right. summary of the experience of living in that house at that time, <laughs> right. was that there was always some sort of disturbing black mess crock pot oh, going God. on. This was by and far I would walk through and be one, like, what yeah. the fuck is and this? So, so Ben had away. that, that crock pot <laughs> Crock-pots on. In the future. He left the crock pot on, on warm, right? He didn't even like put it in the fridge. He just left it on warm for like a couple more fucking days, continuing to <laughs> nibble at it before he Christ. finally gave up. And it was like all crusted and dried at the bottom. No! The fucking... The whole, the whole kitchen smelled like ass. It was just like, okay, Ben, you know, more than, 
the beer the, the beer and cheese soup gave it a very strange smell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Finn so. really needs to have his Wait, own Wait, hang on, hang on. Were this two this, separate this... soups? A beer soup and a cheese soup? No, no, soup, it was or one was it canned the... soup. It was like okay. beer and cheese flavor soup. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got it. It was, yeah, ben, it was a real soup. I think more than like anyone in this store. group needs to have his needs to star in a sitcom. Just this man who's just Everything about life and existence for him is a total failure, but he's so complacent with it and so chill about it that it seems like he's doing it on purpose and it's actually really cool. <laughs> that's that's me. real life. Debut. I yeah. resent that a lot. I'll fucking end you th- tonight. <laughs> that's kind of the Kramer of real life in some ways. He, here, in some here's ways. the rub. Here's the rub, Bob. Yeah. Is don't be don't be like this. Don't do this. What you Why not? It's good. It worked is... out. I got I, I got no, more food no. out of that crock no, pot than anyone no. else. <laughs> Don't go don't even to give fucking McDonald's. Don't go to Der Wiener Schnitzel. Don't go yeah. to fucking Burger King. Der just Wiener learn. Schnitzel. Just learn the real shit. That's fucking easy. Put some butter in a pan. Get the pan hot and put in an egg. You will Hold be on. satisfied by just eating. I don't really like eggs that much food. though. Okay, I yeah. Wait, I've got a way not, better wait, what's, method what's Victor got? Yeah. to live your life uh-huh, by. Uh-huh. So this is this is my secret to being a cooking boy. And and keeping it going yes. and cooking every day and doing cooking real meals that aren't just bullshit mm. and it's having a girlfriend who is way more responsible than I am. Yep. It's a good. It's a good. That is cheat. the ultimate secret. My uh, because she, yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty good. She secret. goes and, and makes lists of shit and and gets ingredients and goes and buys them and then all I have to do is assemble them and cook them and it's easy because it's all planned for me yeah, and I don't yeah. have to yeah. do shit. Fucking, that is the best way to keep cooking in your life. It's it's so difficult in cuz I live with my parents still. Yeah. That's and tough like my shit, dad man. is is the cook boy. He mm. cooks like he has meals planned like way ahead of time like I'm going to cook a uh, fucking a curry today and then we're going to have a, a la- roast lamb you know, whatever yeah. and he's like he has all these ingredients in the fridge and I don't know what I can use and what I can ah, so I did yeah. I never get the chance to use to learn cooking myself I really should like Move like out? I feel like I would be able to <laughs> to keep track of it if I yeah. had with a um, fridge to of my own but it's kind of yeah. how I felt. That's when a I fridge lived too far. With, uh, with, yeah. my with my uh, with my family, like my mom is the one who does the cooking primarily. But like she wouldn't do it all the time. It would be like mm, point. It'd be like uh, two out of every third day, right? And the thing is, is that most of the time we would just make meals for ourselves. I think my dad was like the only one who would like he would basically just rely upon the food that my mom made. He'd eat it as leftovers, or he'd be at work all the time, so he would have lunches out. But everyone else in the family just basically makes their own shit. Like, I make my own shit, and I think my younger brother and sister took after me as a result. Because even though we generally like almost all the food that our mom makes, uh, we just want to eat when we want to fucking eat, right? Like, yeah. me and my brother yeah. both, like, b- b- when I'm we, like, hit way. puberty, we both became, like, massive neats. We'd be up at totally random times. So it's like, mm-hmm. I want to have fresh food, and I want it to be exactly the amount of fucking proteins I need right now. So that's how I got into the habit of just, like, cooking some stupid thing for myself. Uh, the result of this is that the dishes in our kitchen were completely out of control 24-7, and they remain so to this day. I'm glad I moved out. I probably, we should probably do a whole isolated episode about dishwashing. I can definitely get an episode's worth of that. Damn. I think dishwashing is just part of cooking. You should consider mm, that part of cooking no. and fucking wash I, your shit immediately afterwards. I mean, and I, it will okay, never be shit. a problem. Fuck. Okay. Concerned. I'm well, going to spoil the upcoming, the eventual uh, dishwashing episode just talking about it right now, right? <laughs> Here's the thing about that. It depends on your cooking habits. My mom would have a number of times where she would kind of snap and be like, okay, from now on. You're always washing the dishes right after we're done cooking, right? And inevitably, uh-huh. invariably, every time she has that snap in like the like early afternoon, come late evening, she'll have a moment where she's cooked something and she's fucking tired. Like there was one time where she was really adamant That's... about it. She was really adamant about it. And then that night she makes fucking muffins. And then there's just five fucking crusty muffin tins on the countertop. And I'm like... Hey, Mom, what's up with that whole uh, cleaning thing, right? And she's like, I know, I know. Because here's the thing about it is that by the time you're done cooking, you're a completely different fucking person. 
Like by the, over, the like, movie. That's started. Like, I mean, all you want to do is eat the food. Agree. You're fucking hungry now. You eat the food. By the time you're done eating the food, you've like the time of your life that you spent dirtying those dishes is like a long past memory. You're you've moved on. You need to move on with your life. The only way to do it is just have dedicated time where it's like there's a pile of dishes. I'm gonna fucking shred through. No, them. unless that's, unless that's that's not the right, right way to do it. The way to do it. Unless your habits. The are way different. to do it is not to do it right after you've finished eating is to to wait like a couple hours or, or at least before you well, go to bed and then clear it everything enough, yeah get a dish what me and hope will do is that we will have washed most of the dishes by the time we're even finished cooking like as soon as that you're done with the dishes awesome, just yeah. wash some, it that's some, smart. Some, that's smart. Some and hope does that a lot or, like that. And yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah. if you can do that i think that's ideal i, I, I think well, that's I the best way that, but the problem is it depends on what you're cooking because it's like for example oh you know what actually kills it for me almost everything i cook is fucking fried or like sauteed right you can't cook a hot yeah. ass thing right after it's done you you have to let it cool a bit and some of that shit's gonna congeal you can't just touch it right now so like you have no choice but to put it off for a while you know okay. Okay, okay, sometimes, sometimes you get a dish that is, like, real, like, crusty and sticky, and then, you know, you soak it and you let it sit for a while. Right. Personally, I, th- I think it probably is the most efficient to clean immediately. I kind of like yeah. to do, like, a big, like, to, to clean a load of dishes at once. I know it means, I hate that it means that passionately. dishes are in the sink, and it's, and it's lame, but I, I, I like to just do it all but, in one, I mean, in one I, I end up doing that, Ben. But right. the thing is, I end up getting to a place of great anger at the world, at those dishes that are piled up, and it makes my life worse. Like, right. I never do it's it because good. I'm like, yay, time to wash the dishes. It's always, fuck, I cannot put this off right. any longer. So, you know what, now it, I have it, to it, fucking it, wade into this hellscape for, and do the dishes. For me, what made my, what makes me, but my whole By family... By the way, once I'm actually doing the dishes, it's not so bad. It's it's the preparation yeah. to be like, fine. Oh, I, I, love, I love washing dishes. Yeah. I think it's really is, yeah. satisfying and therapeutic. Exactly. It's just I I want to get back to work, and that's the problem with me and my whole family is that we're always my whole family are like what am I doing next type of people, right? Like my dad's someone who it's like if he has fifteen minutes to wait to go to work, he's gonna like come up with something to do that'll make him just like fifteen seconds late, right? So we're all like that. So none of us want to continue harboring over the fucking like food that we just made and continue to like keep cleaning dishes, right? We wanted to like move on to the next thing because now we have all this new renewed after meal energy so like the, the the thing with that is uh fuck i don't know where i was going with that so yeah excellent I, um, great <laughs> um, i i want to just you I, just gotta do it man you just gotta do it yeah but then it's, there's it's other stuff part of dinner, there's you know? other stuff i gotta do because like when you have a well one of the problems when, when, the... when you have a stay-at-home job then you have yeah. no choice but to like when you have to when, do something. yeah when, when you got a stay-at-home job it's really challenging and it really means that you know you got to budget your time because you don't have the kind of free time of someone who works nine to five in an office or anything like that yeah, you don't have yeah just think of the well, commuting you know, time that like, gets you say eaten that, out I know by being a stay-at-home job but it's, i know you're being sarcastic ben but it's like <laughs> it's fucking when you have a nine to five there's these clear borders of when you are or are not working right but when there's yeah. always a video project left to be made just in the other room, it's always nagging at me. So what I want to do is I want to have I know a time, I know what you mean. I, right. I do know I want to have mean. a dedicated time each day where I'm cooking and cleaning at the same time simultaneously, and then everything is clean, yeah, and then like all the leftovers the I'll need for time. tomorrow are in the fridge. That's what I need to do. I just need to manage that as a giant chunk and just wipe it all out in one go. I need structure. To, to that <laughs> point, I, uh, I, I have a certain level of fear – that when I go full time doing YouTube stuff, that my my lack of an Im- I- inherently rigid rigid yeah, dick hole schedule the will be an issue. But, like like uh, they say, when you become I, your I own like boss, you have to hate yourself just like be a able boss. To make his own schedule. Just well, that, well that's, would be able to like like rigidly like like make his own hours. Well, you know that that's the thing that to do like that is the way to go and like to try to stick to that. But like if my my personal like internet creation career thing has kind of been an exercise in finding ways to not have to rely on my own willpower and instead putting on a, like, like, by making, like, Weagua, like, I have to get one done every week. There's no choice. Like, you can't procrastinate, or, I mean, I (laughs) am right now, but, you know. What I've uh, been doing for the last several months, I've been experimenting with this over the last year, but I've been doing it hardcore for the last couple months, is... Don't don't schedule myself, but just keep track of what I'm doing, which is interesting because CGP Grey just like did a Q and A where he mentions that that's what he does too. So like I just track how many how how many minutes in the day I spend working and then doing chores and then 
fapping and then doing nothing and then like watching stuff, right? And then sleeping. So then I just but I just has... look at the numbers and the numbers that just sort of constantly reminding me. It's like a pat on the fucking shoulder, like bro, hey, hey, wake up. You know, it always makes me think about it. Like okay, and that keeps but me Davu, awake. I'm now maybe I don't know shit about shit. But I feel the need to ask: Has that actually worked? Because I to me, like to my has. view, it seems kind of like you've fallen completely off the map. <laughs> well, yes, there have been other things that have made me like not. Well, as I've been ch- checking the numbers, yes, there have been like huge stretches of time where I'm barely like putting in, like even part-time hours, right? And I'm uh, trying my best, oh and I'm trying to crawl out of it. And I think I am. I've been saying that a bunch of times, though. You know, it's fucking, you know, in a relationship, having basically doubled my family amount. You know what I mean? So, like, just all sorts of stuff flies in. Um, well, he does need uh, to defend himself. Right. Uh, Although I've know, partly fallen off the just... map because I'm trying to be less of an internet personality. But I guess I'm on podcasts more now, so I guess I'm failing at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, getting back to cooking. Um, I, I, I remembered something that is, like, the perfect... Like, the, the most fun cooking that I actually do love uh, a lot, and I hope a lot of you agree, mm. being a barbecue chieftain. Mm. <laughs> yeah. What is it with sitting, sitting at the barbecue? Yes, by the way, it's like universal. Uh, I, the idea is that moms are the cookers, right? But barbecuing on the, on the thing outside is always 100% dad. I, well, true. here's the thing with that. My dad has sort of, like, relegated that to me, and I have, like lapped it up like that that is my favorite thing to do Uh i am yeah i'm now the dad when it comes to barbecuing it's like it's um, like that tim and eric skit when when eric is like uh children i'm just gonna be one of you now uh that's our new dad i'm just one of the kids now that's what your dad's done to you you've been promoted he's demoted because like it's it's (laughs) i took a great pride when i moved out of the house and moved in to my own place when we we bought a grill and mm-hmm. I was like all right I am the new grill master yeah. like I'm my dad did this and I'm going to do this now and this it's is so my thing liberating. and it's it's you, fun you're not with, with grilling and cooking and anything you are not beholden to any like when you, restaurant or to any cook or yeah. to your mom or to your dad you are making your own shit and you yeah. can forge your own path you I can just do literally whatever so you great. want you can I, have uh-huh, a recipe on, yeah. and you can just uh, do whatever the fuck you the, want these fucking munchies the like let, let Gib go. He was he was com- yeah. Well, yeah. What's so good? The about? reason it's so it's so good is is because um, when you are like the main guy doing the cooking, everybody mm-hmm. comes to you as like yes. the leader of what's happening currently. Yes. Oh. And so like you put the meat on, and then somebody asks, "So uh, can I get you anything? Can I, do you need like? Uh, shall I bring the the next set of like uh, kebabs or whatever? Shall I bring you the next like, virgin for you to impregnate, yes. sire, oh, oh, yeah, my chief? Yeah, and, yeah, and, then, right, and then the right. people are like willing to do that because standing in front of a barbecue <laughs> oh, on willing. a hot day, it's like a big whoosh of hot air, and it's like, ow, it hurts, it hurts my eyes, but I love being there. It's like being a blacksmith. It's but it's like yeah. get it's like sweating. And like and like uh, smoke all o- all over my face, and I'm like I'm smashing these sausages onto the grill, and I'm looking <laughs> at them crisp up, and and I got my apron and my tools, and I'm like I'm the coolest guy, and the best thing about it is during a party. This happened once, mm-hmm. uh, it may happen again, where there was a barbecue. It was a summer like last year. I was barbecuing, and there was a bunch of people around, and they are like people my parents know, and I don't really know them. They're all drinking and talking and having a good time, and I'm mm-hmm. the barbecue boy, which means that nobody has to come and talk to me about anything because <laughs> the barbecue's tucked away, That's and beautiful. I'm just providing food. I'm just saying, I'm like my brother would come here uh, talk to me because he doesn't like talking to anyone either, and he would be the one <laughs> bringing the food from me to Dude, the kitchen. Hippo, you know what? So like, I got to not, I get to not participate in the party but Hooray. still be Hippo, an, you know like a non antisocial person and cartoons don't work out hippo you could do the job of of being the like four armed uh heat guy from spirited away who like <laughs> gets the fire going for the boilers and shit that oh, yeah. basically looks like yeah. you already like when you have that like half mustache beard thing going on right yeah it's true coming off of what hippo said i think one of the reasons that like barbecuing appeals to dads and it's kind of like that male it's thing to do is that i think it's like it's something you like you want to be outside yeah. doing something it feels a little bit wild barbecuing man. is something to do and then it's also a great excuse to have a bunch of beers yeah and like sit there and grill like my dad always did it when he, he'd always be drinking beers and then when i barbecued i like basically got drunk while i was barbecuing and had a blast right because you're but outside it's also so you like can you, risk spilling you, shit yeah 
and I'm outside alone, so I'm like, I, I the only way to pass the time is really to like fucking drink a bunch of beers while yeah. you're sitting there barbecuing. Yeah, and then and you're then, having a blast, you, and you can't you can't like get <laughs> roped into any stupid conversation because you're like, oh, yes. sorry, I gotta I gotta pay attention to this. You know, the stuff exactly. this is important. You know, late in my career as a son. Uh, meaning <laughs> when I when I live with my parents still. Uh, the thing is, grilling became sort of a vital component of like everyday meals. So like we we would grill out on like the deck where the where the thing was like all the time. And the problem wow. is, I don't share exactly the same you know manly trope of how great barbecuing is because it became just like a family cooking thing that like I would do a lot. I'm you know bended sometimes. I remember having to do it a lot. And it was just like a thing that I was expected to do, and it was like it was like my dad was the real boss. I was just the the fire monkey who had to the go out and you know prepare. Yeah, you know, and it was it was it hurt my feelings. I didn't get to be a big boy. Um, they sucked all the fun out. It, of it. Like it, it was me, fine. It was, it was fine. Always... It was just a chore, though. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. not master of my domain, which I think was the difference here. My dad would only ever barbecue like once a year, yeah, yeah, so okay. it was always there like a go. big deal, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like it was this rare phenomenon that we were grilling, and it's like, oh man, this is the coolest thing. Basically, instead of being a cook, I was just a cuck. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this, this has been so satisfying. Going back to what Hippo said about like that that being on a hot day and having that hot grill blow steam up into your face. There's something yeah. so satisfying about like being in pain. You know, yeah. and there's something so sad <laughs> sure, about like sure. about doing something hard that like physically harms you, not like emotionally, but like like really like like, like hurts you and burns you. Like to your like core. like um well, like sure. and, and, like, and, and, uh, like you know mining you. at night, getting yeah, exactly. getting your hands all chapped and like yeah, that was really funny. I do not I've like that before in my life. So thank yeah, that's what no, I, but I like, I, it's, uh, what I'm I I, I defaulted to that because I'm a fucking idiot. Um, <laughs> hard labor, hard labor feels great yeah, just to do like gardening, gardening, digging up weeds, destroying like like stumps. It's great. Do, do, like, Accomplishing taxing, something like, physical. physical labor to like accomplish something that you know is good and that you want to do, and it's just like of your own accord. And you're like, you know, I'm gonna be a fucking man. I'm gonna get down in the dirt. I'm gonna grovel. I'm gonna flop around like a fucking pig. I'm gonna pour mud all over my fucking <laughs> spread ass eagle <laughs> shit taint, and I'm gonna fucking be a man. Or, or even just, like, going on, like, a long hike through, like, the woods. Like, that's, yeah. like, physical, and it's like, ah, I've, I've accomplished this, you yeah. know? Yeah, I, don't, I mean, it I don't all feels do, good. I don't do physical labor or physical exercise. Mm. The only muscle that I ever work out is my brain. It's, brain. it's your brain. brain. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There we go. Also, my, my, like, well, the- my, my ethics. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> also, my cock. That, that I, believe, I believe Rush Limbaugh I mean, is saying Yeah, the three form a holy trinity. <laughs> yeah. Rush Limbaugh, he said like in one episode, brain, he was like... ethics, and cock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, brain, that's, ethics. that's maybe what it conscience, is. Maybe conscience would be a better word. I think your brain is a yeah, sure. huge fucking muscle, bro. That's why, like, yeah, one time Rush Limbaugh was like, <laughs> people always say, Rush, why don't you ever work out? Why don't I ever see you, like, even, like, lift anything or, like, uh-huh. do anything physical? It's because you all don't see the cylinders... Firing at full strength in my skull. Is this skull. what Rush Limbaugh actually I, I, yeah, says? <laughs> Rush, yeah, what? You said Rush Limbaugh. Yeah, 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 yeah okay, okay. Well, what a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, fucking yeah. doesn't L from Death Note have the same yeah, thing? Yeah, it's like L from Death Note. Right. Rush yeah, Limbaugh so that's what I'm is saying. L from Death Note. <laughs> yeah. Like if I if I did any physical activity, it would take okay, power. But, but it would Rush divert Limbaugh. power. It would divert power away from my brain cylinders. But Rush Limbaugh is a big fatty, and L is canonically like a tennis warrior gladiator yeah. champion. So you well, know, I'm, yeah. I'm just saying. There's something so satisfying about being able to like give another human and like like a share in the thing you're giving another human of like giving them like the primal yes. desire of eating food but not having yes. to be like a weird like like societal commitment like sex is you, it can just be a casual <laughs> and fr- a friendly ordeal where you just share in being a human and bleeding yeah. and weeping together and you can yeah. just have your bread or your cheese and, and, and you can talk and you can catch up and it's just a yeah. warm homely like. endeavor that doesn't have any societal pressures on it and like, it is instead a- of this like yeah. a, a, a cursed forced heterosexual relationships I'm forced to engage in, uh, you know, via relationship. <laughs> yeah. Just, just the 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 feeling of joy Hell, I get through a through a, through a through a yeah through a chaotic you know uh, just just uh, what, what just happened to happen J O crystal charging sesh with the boys. <laughs> now that's that's pure. That's what life is really about. Are we gonna start a PCD club? What's the Anytime D for? P- the D club. You know about the D club? Oh, oh, the D club. Of course, of course. Uh, I mean, yes. I, I, I turn into the PCP so DC. Get ready for the first episode to drop something. Oh, <laughs> no. Radcon D. That will be. Oh, oh shit! No. Yeah. Oh, 
the fourth one will yeah. be next, so D would work too. Yeah. Damn. That's Damn. a good idea. Uh, I've I've got like one last story about like okay. primal okay. cooking. Yeah. Because I've been <laughs> camping a couple times. Yeah. No, it's like I, we get like a log fire going, mm-hmm. and you know the 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 obvious like marshmallows is like nobody yeah, fucking s'mores. does that. What we d- used to do was we got like um we got like a potato and we wrapped it in tin foil and we just oh, threw it in the whoa. fire. Yeah, that's, that's good stuff. Bunch. Baked potatoes, that's pretty good. Yeah. And 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 sweet corn as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I remember yeah. making eggy bread out in the woods, and I don't know how we did that. Eggy bread. That was strange. Oh French yeah, shows. eggy bread is like when you when you get an egg and you whisk it up, and then you dip the bread yeah. in the egg, yeah, and then you fry the bread. French 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 yeah. Call that yeah. French. Yeah. I guess, I guess they don't, Britain, you they don't call it that in England because they're mortal enemies. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, nothing a- French. Eggy bread here, is no like thanks. their version of freedom fries. Well, you call guess, yeah, well, you call guess, French like, fries normally you in Britain. You call them French fries? Chips. chips. They call them chips. Oh right, right? fuck. I well, forgot. No, we, we Sorry, have I know two. that. We have, I just have forgot. fries. I blinked. Uh huh. We we have fr- fr- we have fries which are like the thin like McDonald's things. Yeah. But then chips are like chunkier. And, I'm glad and you have. Oh, oh, oh I didn't that. know you. That's I didn't know any of them were fries. So chips are are the good fries. Wait, wait. So you go. So when you go to McDonald's, when you go to McDonald's, you order fries, not chips. Yeah. Well, they they ask that. That's they've always been like an americanized restaurant huh. chain okay. they don't change okay. for, for yeah. us so well, yeah I we change know, the man. They call the small things right the royale with cheese when cheese. there's the metric system that's what fucking pulp fiction talked about so i think they well that, that's things. just the name but but i mean this i mean in japan they have whole different sandwiches and shit uh, at yeah. mcdonald's they have spaghetti but spaghetti in the philippines yeah, yeah fucking bizarre we've uh, got spaghetti well, are, are, are we done? Are we done talking about cooking now? Should we... Oh, oh uh, shit. You know, I, 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 I would just, like, like went away like yeah. nothing. Yeah, um... I mean, I, I don't know anything. I was gonna <laughs> ask if, like... Okay, if, if each of you guys had to recommend to our fair audience something for them to cook, oh. what would you recommend? Oh, well, my chicken? recommend... Oh. Is that hard to make, though, Ben? How do you make that? Um, you just fucking get some, che- you, you know, I mean, you, you coat it in some egg and some flour and some Does whatever the- you, hard? You can coat it in, like, anything you want. You just coat- uh-huh. and you, you, Anything. You, you get well, a deep I'll tell fryer. You. you just fucking deep you, fry you it. You get a deep fryer? Can't you just make it in a pan, though? You can though, buy by, a deep by... fryer for, like, 20 bucks. You can, you okay. can put oil in a saucepan and right. deep fry you things can do like that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of a okay, waste yeah. of oil, but you can do it. Here's my recommendation. If, if the way that I described the way I cook and the things I eat sounded interesting to you, dear viewer- uh, like, mm-hmm. what I like to call it is the water saute, which is, like, to, to do the kind of meal that I mentioned with the chicken and the, you know, the carrot and the mushroom and the spinach. And just, instead of using oil, just use, like, water. And just, like, keep... That's steaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's basically steaming. steaming. <laughs> right, I know. water <laughs> saute. <laughs> so it's, I know, I know, I know right. it's steaming, but instead of, like, having a thing, like, where, like, you know, there's water beneath it and, you know, the, the steam comes up, like, you're cooking chicken, like, you put the chicken in there, when this chicken is, like... 50% cooked, that's when you can add the carrots. When it, everything is like 98% done, that's when you can put on the, the, the spinach because that shit shrivels up really quickly. But yeah, like it is basically a saute, in my opinion, because it's all like in a thing. It's not it's not just steam. You're using water. Just keep adding water. And then you can just like basically eat stuff that I think tastes pretty good with basically like no like, you know, shitty things for you. You know, there's not even any butter or oil, right? It's just like the fat of the chicken. So that's my recommendation. My recommendation would be just uh, think of something you've always wanted to know how to cook. Google it, get the ingredients, and just cook it with your phone. It's just look idea. at the ingredients, <laughs> yeah. the method yeah. with your phone. They even it's have easy. apps it's just... where you can keep track of every single thing you have in your fridge, and it'll like algorithmically like pick out like recipes. Oh for no, you. fuck that! That's true. Which that's not like that shit. I, I hate. I re- hate yourself. You know what I mean? Like, I hate regimenting things like that. I'd rather just like be like on a whim. Or, like I want to learn how to cook a Spanish omelet. I Google Spanish yeah. omelet recipe and then I just make it's it. It's a fucking art And I just form. look at my phone. You it's great. You got you got to have that adversity. Like oh, you got to look in your fridge and be like oh, what's here? There's not a whole lot here. I guess I guess there's this. I know, but I like, guess there's this and this. It, I can do make, well, make this. I mean, it's it's intimidating the idea that you're supposed to just become like a, a person who inherently knows what you need to put into a thing. Mm-hmm. I think if you want to get into cooking, start by learning mm-hmm. recipes, and eventually you'll sure. figure out that you yeah, like, what you can you know like, how do you what, learn you, to, what you can change about a recipe watch to change food it. Network. Like, watch Food Network every yeah. day. Sure, yeah, yes. sure. Well, watch Chopped all the time. How do you like? How do you learn ever. how to play guitar? Like, if you want to be like an excellent like jazz guitarist, like the first thing you do is you like learn to play like a 
song, and then you like look up exactly what to do, and then as you go, yeah. you just kind of learn like ah uh, okay, so I I, I learn I've learned you chords see repeating now. patterns of, yeah. of how songs are, and, and, and cooking is similar to that in, in the sense of the the way you can like you know extrapolate and apply things in different ways and yeah. all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, uh, let me I would s- say you could you could go and learn how to like make a sauce, you know, and like go mm. to the roots of like, don't just buy Prego, try to make sauce and then you'll see like how things go together, you know, and how things are actually made in in the cooking world. Indeed. Hey, Tom, can you speak for like three minutes straight so you earn your $30? <laughs> Uh, cooking uh, is, is gay and I don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I've had nothing to contribute to this topic at all. Uh, True. Well, fair enough. <laughs> great, great. Uh, uh, I, I okay. Just make a fucking steak. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. You mm. s- you just put on a fucking steak and you move it with your hand. You move it with your hand. Oh you, no, you, no! You, you, you scrape. You no? scrape a steak. And oh wait. You, and, you, and you just fucking pick it up. Wait, wait. Stuff. You don't even. You don't even like pick it up like like from the top. You scoop it up with the burning oil in the pan and you slather it all, right. all over your fucking I... face. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, literal cooking tip: when you put when you're cooking a steak and you put it down in the pan. Never move it. Well, not never, but like, don't move it around to cook it because you need to let the the skin like crisp up and harden. And really? when it slides around on its own, then you can flip it. Oh. If you move it around, it likes it like break apart and it would be gross. Mm. I have you got to keep a... that moisture in there. I always want to move my food around when I'm watching it cook. It's a bad not habit. steaks. It's not bad steaks. Habit. Yeah. Bad idea. Okay. You're okay. supposed to like. You're supposed to like make steaks in the pan, in the frying pan, and then right. like put it in the oven, right? That's, that's, I would um, grill a steak has personally. Everyone, uh, I mean, if I, my, has everyone laid out their food recommendation? Well, well no, we're in the, we're in the middle of, of it. it goddamn right. it! Right. I know, right I know. Now. Like, like once this is done, that's basically it. I, uh, sure. I, I don't know. Okay. Maybe. Anyway. No. no? Get out okay. of here. <laughs> All right. Just, just checking. Who why? the fuck were you talking about? <laughs> wait, wait, why? The podcast is ruined, Davu. <laughs> okay. Have to start over again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay. Can't, can't anyway, just check up around delete. here. Everyone delete. Delete. Listen, right listen here's here's my cooking recommendation. Uh, don't do it. Here's he, he, this is this is what I'm saying. Just order uh, from Grubbo. Cook- just give IHOP pancakes <laughs> every day, like me. Nate, no, it's the soy boy. just shut the hell make up. Make more money, and you won't have to do it anymore. I mean, just, that's, just get better at your job and make more money. I mean, that, that's a good recommendation too. But here's what I'm actually saying. Here's my real recommendation. I uh, cooking is nice, and I like the communal aspects and all that stuff. But better than that is, uh, like, saving any time that currently is used cooking. So my recommendation is to those uh, asshole soy boys out in, uh, you know, fucking uh, the West Coast that make soil and whatnot, make a real version that's not some gay soy shit and uh, so that I can be a man and made of pure <laughs> animal product puree. Here's the solution to cooking. <laughs> Invent a new thing that does not <laughs> yeah. currently exist. We, I'm shattering the fucking paradigm <laughs> Nate, right now, Munchie. You need to break a, out of the box. There's a Soylent competitor called Huel. Fuel with an What's H. That? And it has, uh-huh. it oh, has yes. no soy in it at all. It's like... No soy, you say? Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> sounds amazing. There, there you uh, go. I, I, I mean, I don't... I don't soy is not actually a problem but like I don't know what like the the I have not looked at like the nutritional facts here here's what I want it's not I the soy is the problem it's the boys it's, it's the boys in that soy that's a problem listen it's the I want a slurry I can just chug at any moment <clears throat> yeah. of the day no. and I just want to be able to dispense Nate, you're it in any the place textures. I don't give a what shit. What you need is a, is like an I, IV drip of vitamins and nutrients. That's literally what I want. To eat at all. That is exactly yes. what I want. I f- <laughs> fuck eating. I'll literally give it up. I don't care. Have you tried I just want enough food? to worry about it. Have you tried what? pissy baby food? Have you have you tried to put on your diaper? <laughs> 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 Chug down day. some baby food. You, you have fucking you tried infant. suckling on Dude, mummy's I would milk? Not be, perhaps I that fucking, might work for you. I fucking would not be surprised if there's like an adult baby food product. No, the ABDL community and all of us. Yeah, it's I mean. Pedialyte, Pedialyte, that like yeah, baby drink. Yeah. Have you seen right. recently on Twitter? They're rebranding it that it's not just for babies because they want everyone <laughs> oh, to have baby. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. <laughs> no, not, not just for babies I don't anymore. Any that's that's food. literally their their uh, their their slogan is not <laughs> just for, for babies. This oh my god. This ain't your daddy's baby food. <laughs> By the way, Hippo, I don't believe there's any ABDL food yet because the ABDL like ABDL like, food. Fucking, <laughs> 
Yeah, Holy well, because God. like the companies that supply like well, products and like uh, merchandise for that, I don't think they have quite the supply chain yet to like have like refrigeratable and like <laughs> just like, eat baby I, food. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't particularly mean it as like like, like an RP thing. thing. I mean it as like. As a thing, as a Nate thing, like I want just <laughs> right. a slurry of like protein okay. f- enough for an adult. I'm the real ABDL around mm, true. here. That's uh, uh, that's the, the so that's my recommendation. That, the more true it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only I have the brain the size of a fucking mountain in this baby's body. Uh, but that's my, when I was a baby, I, I was ten <laughs> feet tall and ten feet wide, and ninety percent of my mass was dedicated just solely to my brain. Pumping out ideas left and right. Whoa. <laughs> but this damn time. society squeezed all the creativity out of me, and I'm a <laughs> six foot two weakling. If, if, if babies could talk, they'd be the smartest beings on the planet Earth. Yeah. So okay, the thing really about nice. thing about <laughs> cooking, right? The, the reason why I was trying to like figure out like how much more we have to say is because yeah, okay, okay. it seems like we're basically uh-huh. wrapped up with food but I kind of want to yeah, talk yeah. about kitchens specifically and I don't know if we should save that for a later episode no, I no, think we not have to save it because kitchens, we're, we're, yeah. we're, run, we're run up on time I think here is the main issue for me wait we, we've only been going for an hour but we've got we've got segments to get to we've got segments yeah, and segments Nate, talk, Nate we can talk about okay. just want to be like if, back if you want to I mean, if we go for 15 more minutes, that's perfectly fine with me. I got no problem with that. All right, cool. The people kitchen. want the kitchen rant. Give us the kitchen rant in all caps. Yeah. It's a 10-minute yeah. video, and it has monetization on it. Oh, true. <laughs> so, you know, here's the thing about kitchens, right? I have had a lot of different kinds of kitchens in my life, like four, you know? And what I found, what surprised me, is that this little rinky-dink kitchen I have in my new apartment is by far the best kitchen experience I've ever had. Which surprised me. So, a kitchen, my, my family's kitchen in the, in the house we live in, the nice big old house that we bought specifically because we're an older family, right? The kitchen there is too fucking big. It's like a whole section of room. I completely agree. That is mm, like a kitchen. Mm. And I totally took for granted the fact that doing anything is a pain in the fucking ass. It's like, oh shit, forgot the milk. <sighs> Ugh. <laughs> Did okay. you just sprinting over to the fridge 20 honestly, miles away? Honestly, football field size. Like, honestly, yeah. if I were to sprint, the amount of breaths I took would be accurate to the amount of fucking space. It's like, <laughs> oh shit, I forgot this spice. Uh, 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 spice, you know? Jeez. It was just pain in the fucking uh, ass. And then, like, oh, what's up, Hippo? Well, I was. my kitchen has, like, um, it, currently, is it's got, like, the, the two sides, but then there's, like, an island in the middle of the room. Yeah. So like you don't need to go very far. You can just I've make never, a one eighty to get anything an you island, need. Actually. I don't like the islands at all. I, I think they're all right. Are a pain well, in the I ass. imagine they probably yeah, make everything like feel really like constricted. And if there's something that you want that's on the opposite side of the island, it's basically like a fucking like odyssey to get there and back. You know, <laughs> it's a, it's a exactly. small enough island for right. that. But like, it, I mean, it works well. Right. So the, the, my, my yeah, mentality continue. towards kitchens is obviously like crafted under the situation of basically just making food for me and my fiance so like i don't have a family yet so a small kitchen is perfectly fine right and like yeah yeah my family's kitchen not only was it big but like it was laid out in a way where it was like almost like two or three different like sections and so yeah the kitchen i'm at right now it's like all in one spot and almost nothing is more than two steps away from anything else right it's like there's the sink and then the stove is right behind it so i barely even have to move anywhere it's like it's like i am the fucking guy from spirited away with all the arms like controlling the furnace it's just like i don't even have to like move that much it's super cool right so i would say one of the better kitchens i'd had that i've experienced is the kitchen at the how at the bro house you know their last name mr bro uh, it was a cool kitchen, you know, and it was laid out, like, in a circle, so, like, everything, you didn't have to walk too far. The only problem with that kitchen is that everything about it was fucking dying. The light, it had, yeah. it had a good light. I would have ranked it as probably the second best kitchen I've had, except it goes down a couple ranks because it wasn't maintained well. So, like, it has a nice, like, a fluorescent light, because I think fluorescent lighting is, like, nice and relaxing, which I guess is the opposite of how it should be. I don't know what's wrong with me. But the light went out like a couple of times so most of the time it was like we were using this shitty little like study lamp for the fucking kitchen at night which made it kind of like dismal and depressing which was kind of cool especially when you're cooking with ben it's like yeah having like depressing cooking time you know what i'm saying Mm. but like (laughs) like cooking in an alleyway yeah hell yeah um 
But then also, like, the electricity around the whole house was, like, kind of fucked. So, like, I had bought, like, an electric kettle so I can make myself tea, so I can make myself, like, coffee in those little instant coffee pots. But it fucking zapped my goddamn electric kettle, probably because it was a cheap $20 one. But the point is, I spent the rest of my... Well, those things also draw a lot of power, and you're not supposed to plug them in with other shit. That may so. have happened. It's supposed to be, like, it has to be on, like, its own circuit, really? probably. Oh, I didn't know that. I will keep that in mind. Because, yeah, so basically I spent the remainder of my eight months there, like just cooking it on the pot and then like forgetting about it and overflows and like shade would come in and be like oh you forgot your uh, your water and i'm like i remembered when i had my own water uh, my electric kettle would turn off automatically and then let's see what else like oh well uh well then then there was the dishwasher but the dishwasher died literally the same day i moved in and it wasn't repaired. Uh, everything was fucking dying. Right. It died the same <laughs> day I moved in, so I never used it. And it was only repaired like a week before I moved out. And so the thing is, is that there was water in there, and the water just stayed there the whole time I lived there. And every couple of months I'd be like, I have to do it. Okay, mold it. All right, you know, I would do that like every couple months. And then the coup de gras of this, of this kitchen is that the sink clogged up. The, the garbage disposal... Wait, there was oh, never a garbage God, disposal there. That. Oh, yeah, there was a garbage disposal there. It stopped working, and the, stink, the sink clogged up. And if only I had known what was coming, like... The stink is right. The right, stink is right. Right. So it just sort of built up, and then, like, food just... Foodish water, like, just stayed there. And it took, like, two days to drain. And it just smelled like total ass. Like, Ben's crockpot malfunction was nothing compared to this. So, like, the last entire month of being in that kitchen it was, like... It wasn't a misfunction so much as malpractice. Right, malpractice, yeah. right. Yeah. Malpractice and nobody doing anything yeah, to why it. Why right. the goddamn the plumber Same is thing the question. The sink, because it was basically, like, how do you have a kitchen without a fucking sink? That was the question that we all had to figure out. So, like, I had so much processed food that month. Like, I had lost, like... Fucking, like, probably 30 to 40 pounds while I was there because I was eating water sautés and also, like, not eating a whole lot because I had a broken ankle, twisted ankle. I just didn't get up much. So, like, I just lost a lot of weight. But I gained a lot of that weight back right before coming back because I was eating so much processed food and just, like, avoiding the sink the whole time. So it was sort of like a... The, the whole situation in the kitchen was just sort of falling apart in a, in, a, in a death spiral the same way as, like, everything was then. So it was pretty cool. Definitely, like, top keck memories, I would say. But I'm glad to have, like, a was, normal kitchen that just does shit now, you know? That whole arc was, like, it was, it was like, a <coughs> sort of a waking nightmare, but also, like, a perfectly aesthetic experience to have in, like, your early to mid-20s. Yeah, where exactly. you're like, oh, I yeah, I'm gonna live it. with all these dudes, Frankly, and it's gonna be, it. like, this fucking digi, like... <laughs> It was, it was testosterone heaven, my experience. friend. It was testosterone heaven. You're basically fucking chugging and downing that testosterone day and day. Guys, yeah, okay. I, I want you all to know that while Devu was telling that story, there was plenty of time for me to master the blade, which I have now done, which I have now accomplished. Oh, were you in the dojo? The- I was, I, well, n- n- well, no, I, I've long since mastered the blade in, uh, in Variety Fuckers Cop Killers terms. But this, there's a little kitchen knife that was in my kitchen that I've got. It's got a little sheath. It's got a little sheath here. And I want you all to know that I've been practicing Eido during this entire podcast. The art of the quick draw, you see. And mm-hmm. I have now become a full-fledged level 99 master. Uh, that's Jesus what Christ. I want. Yeah, now you know. Oh. Now you know. Dude, I, I would say that my my kitchen is pretty good. It's kind of it's pretty like compact, and I can easily get anything. The only problem is, is that it's so compact, and I, and I live with so many people. That yeah. Whenever I'm cooking something, they're always trying to get something out of the fridge. And they're always oh, fucking I hate that. Way, yeah. and, and they're oh, all sweating and heaving right. and, fu- and fucking vomiting all over me. <laughs> and they've was... all got their bodies pressed up against me. And it's the worst when I come downstairs during the weekdays, and my four chan uncle is there because I know okay, right. got a timer four five uncle. minutes, five oh, minutes before he starts talking to me so i have to run downstairs right. i have i have to like get the, the 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 butter in the in the pan as fast as possible turn that shit all the way up get some fucking eggs in there and then like always like as i'm about to put the <laughs> eggs in the plate he's like uh so i was reading this book about rommel the other day i'm like i have to yeah. get out of here fast <laughs> yeah rommel's yeah. a good man i didn't mention that that was one of the things that drove my neatism and wanting to like like sleep at weird times and like making food on my own terms to not be in the kitchen with anyone else especially when i'm a fucking angsty teenager i'm like Oh, oh, so what, what, what's that? You need to get, like, a thing out of a shelf that's near my torso area? <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead. Just be, Guys, I have a terrible be within, update for you. Be within three Rommel. feet of proximity to me. Yeah, sure, I'm not, like, trying to, like, withhold yelling here. Go ahead, do it. 
It's so awful. It, it, oh, it, oh. It's, like try, it's like trying to draw while people are around you. Oh, it's awful. I, yeah, yeah. And I think, I, I think I've mentioned this on a previous episode. Also, like, looking for something. And if your mom is there, she's just like, what are you looking for? You think we can find it together? No. No, I don't want you to know I'm looking for something and can't find it. <laughs> it would drive me so what I would do, Thanks for nothing, mom. <laughs> what I would do, what I would do is pretend to be finding stuff constantly so that I don't look like I'm having an issue so that she won't ask. So I'll be like... Open shelf. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Open up drawer. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I think what I actually did was I just was so weird that she was just too scared to approach me. But, you know, I got the results I needed, right? She didn't fucking ask me what I'm looking for, right? Now that's practicality. Uh, I had the same thing when I was living at home mm-hmm. where, like, half the time, like, I want to cook, but I so didn't want to be around anywhere where anyone would look at me or talk yeah, to me yeah, that I just yeah. wouldn't do yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Definitely. You, you wait yeah. till everyone else is gone. Yeah. You, you avoid your parents at oh, all yeah. costs. Because, yeah. like, I don't want my parents to be like, oh, what inspired you to cook today? Are you not, are, are, you're not going to cook what, ever why, again? Why are yeah. you cooking like, instead what, of you pounding yeah. the pavement Based looking on what for I know a job, McGuire, son? Especially your dad. It seems like your dad is even more the kind of, oh, what you doing? Like, did you just told me that you would go around into the backyard to go into the garage to then come out the garage door when you come home so that it looks like instead of coming home you just came from the garage so that your dad wouldn't ask where did you go when you were out which is I would right yes fascinating right. even though it's not like I was out doing anything right, you just, I just yeah. have I just would have the t- intense anxiety that anyone would talk to me and because I <laughs> get so like the I used to be very frustrated when I was trapped at home. Right. Mm. It just like when I'm angry, I know if I if anyone tries to ask me something, I'm just gonna like give a, a reaction that they're not right. gonna like. Yeah, right. back before right. I so I just like want to avoid all back contact. Before, in this like one like period of teenagerishness where before I had to work, but when I had to clean the dishes, I would just be like, Oh, I'm not doing them in right after breakfast. No, I'm not doing them after dinner. No. I do them at three fucking AM. So, like, it was in that house where the kitchen was far away enough, right? So, I would just, like, ah, it's 3 a.m., fucking perfect, right? And I would just, like, put on podcasts or whatever. And just, like, ah, everyone's asleep. I'm completely alone. I could wash all the dishes. It was beautiful. I think that was probably why I like washing dishes to this day is because that was a good experience. Just being completely alone. No one's going to talk to me. The whole... The whole, like, thing with not being, like, wanting to start a conversation with somebody, but so you avoid, like places where people would likely be is probably the reason I to my brothers always just start like if we see each other we say nothing we say like a weird <laughs> noise to, 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 just, to just acknowledge uh, yeah. like the, uh, each other's presence without having to say so uh, yeah. how's how are you do like right. we we avoid that by being fucking strange that's I'm what me sure. and Shade do every time we see each other. Me and Shade just go like, bleh, 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 yeah, yeah. I make a face at the point. And like, me, and like, my, yeah. me and my brother know exactly the kind of things that makes us uncomfortable. So like, if something awkward happens, one basically the way we do it is we go, huh? I can't believe you just did that. Like, well, like, like if something wrong happens, you'll imagine like what is the worst possible thing someone could say to judge you, and we'll just like say that judging thing like jokingly, and it like relieves the tension, right? And then, like, I can't yeah. stop doing it with other people, so people think I'm being super fucking rude, right? Or, like, if something awkward is happening, instead of trying to, like, be like, oh, man, are you okay? Because, like, that pisses me off when someone says that, so my brother's always just like, ha, suffer, right? So, like, I, <laughs> I, so, like, I just sort of, like, do that to other people, and other people are like, what the fuck? You're, like, are you making fun of me? I'm like, no, I'm just, I'm, uh. I'm just telling you to suffer. It, it, it's always awful when you're like downstairs and, and you're doing something and and then your parents begin with so and you uh, know all right, all right what, what's the lie i have to say this time what do i have to fib what do i have to stretch the shoes to, to make sure that they do not ask any more questions this what, what, this what one concentration I have, ask, I, I, have to, I, I have to make sure that they don't ask any more yeah. questions after this yeah. yeah. What concentration camp can I be shipped off to to avoid this kind of? Yeah, exactly. Right. I would do. I would do anything to avoid them asking this <laughs> right. question. I think we're I've basically been, I've the, the way I've, I've sort of dealt with that yeah. is that I try to like have answers to questions they're likely to say and say them before they can ah, ask it. Yes. So that it, so that it feels like I'm being yeah, pr- like say, talkative, like and then like, they don't feel the need kind of cannib- to ask that much. I feel like we're kind of cannibalizing the future PCP episode about like. 
dealing with talking to your parents. But, yeah. but I do want to say, like, since we've already just cannibalized most of it, like, it was a weird, like, I think the most coming-of-age thing about me was deciding to stop watching TV with my family. Because they wouldn't stop watching fucking cop drama shows, and it's been fucking 14 years since, and then they still haven't stopped. So I was just like, I'm done. I, I don't want to keep watching movies with you. I don't want to keep watching TV. And my dad was legit offended, because, like... For, like, the modern 21st century man, there's no more wars to fight, no more fucking boars to stab, no more fucking minorities to fucking, uh, like, kill, right? There's no more manly things to do. <laughs> well, to they're out, out of the there. House, we just except, don't have the excuse anymore. Yeah, except to fucking watch TV. It's the only thing dads have left. That and grilling. But like, It's true. And so when you stop watching TV because your parents have shit taste in shit and you just want to be on the internet where everything is much better, my dad was just like, Why? Why aren't you watching this movie? And he finally, like, two movies in a row that I refused to watch. He was just like, fine. Don't watch the movie. Oh, then, my God. Know? I mean, he, he, you know, he was fine. I've had that you low from key Phil. myself. Right, like, when, once he got the message, he, he, he never bugged me about it again. Like, my parents, they, 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 they fucking understood that like, <clears throat> I'm an antisocial recluse, and they got it eventually. But, like, it was really funny. And I didn't, you know, being 14 at the time, I didn't have the emotional depth to understand what I was doing the way I do now. I should probably, like, like write him a fucking apology, actually. Even what though there was a real shit. What I to say is a real millennial thing, and I don't know if any of you will get this. And and <laughs> if someone were to say this to me, I would make fun of them as well. But I, I nevertheless it is true and it, and it, I have noticed it in my life. Whenever I'm like in the car or something and I have my headphones in and my family tries to talk to me, I just cannot like I cannot express the deep like I don't even know how to describe it like the like guttural like primal feeling of rage that I get. I have headphones in. I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. I'm looking out the window and blasting music. I obviously don't want to talk to you about my day. Please stop, mom. Please. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, that's one of the joys of, of moving out and getting away from your parents yeah. is that you get to mellow out and not be pissed off at them yeah. like 100% yeah, if of the I were time to come... for absolutely no reason. Yeah, yeah, There's like right. no yeah, reason I know. to, no. to yeah, I can't be wait. Mad. I can't wait to like come go back home to my family and visit them and be like, cook with them. Be like, oh, you want to like get a thing in front of my shelf three feet around my, like, around my general area? I'll be totally fine with it. And I'm just going to be like... Ah, oh, I can be around human beings, and I don't feel like a wound-up stress ball ready to pop. Brilliant. <laughs> Indeed. Exactly. All right. Cooking is really fun. The, the end. <laughs> yeah. The end, Munchie. No, cooking is not fun. It's over is what cooking oh, is. Oh, yeah, well, what do you say to this? Slams head into grill and, and sizzled <laughs> to perfect uh, perfection. And, and per and perfect served. medium yeah. rare. Now that's and what I call you. alchemy. Oh, uh, right. Munchie is only a one in a billion. He's very rare. Hey. Well, team, I, I, we, we, so that's the end of our of our main show. Our here. main course, if our, you will, time uh, whoa. for dessert. Damn. Yeah. It's it, let's let's. I, I prepared this one while I bathe. Uh, good. All right. Here's what we're doing, team. Here's what we're doing. We're not going straight into questions. We're doing a couple of things. We're, we're trying out some new shit. But right. here's the first of all. So this PCP theme contest thing is still happening, and you've all been a colossal it, failure. It's, def it's definitely not a failure, guys. It's definitely not. Like, <laughs> no one's interested in this. It's still happening. Because we have proof that that's not true, because we do still have that one submission that I mentioned last episode. So we're going to play it. Right fucking now on the show, we're all gonna listen to it. It's from it's from our boy AJ Shoop. And if you if you think you can do better, yeah. we invite you to try. You fucking cowards! Indeed. Hashtag <laughs> PCP theme. Send it to us on Twitter or if you're in the Discord, if you're in the Patreon, that's fine too. But send us this shit because we're this is not a failure. This is real. <laughs> this is for real. I swear, Dad. I'm I'm actually able to pay my bills with my internet career. It's not a joke. It's not fake. I don't have to live off food stamps. I actually will make something of my life. I'm not desperate. I'm not a failure. Munchie, play the song. Uh, uh, uh. Why do I have to play the song? I'm, I don't, I'm not the you fucking a, you robot a link to master. It. You, you are a robot Nazi techno state. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. All right. All right. I'm, Here I'm, we go. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be worked to death day in day out without any <laughs> extra pay to be the robot slave holder. Here. That's right. Here we go. Yeah. Who cares? Get that gets done. Procrastination. So fucking hard. Like, uh, like what happened in the 
Radcon 17, like, montage, you know what I mean? AJ, uh, that was excellent. I yes. pretty much like that a lot. Yeah. And it's got a lot I of... We're starting out stuff. strong with our... I don't think it has the right tone to be an OP, though. We we could we could shorten it to make it like a very snappy. I don't, it's not OP. about the length. It's, it's, it's just like ending. the tone of it. Doesn't it like make me? Doesn't feel opening to me. Let me let me. Can I can I share an anecdote with you guys about the sure. creator of that of that jingle? Uh, yeah, right. please. So the other day, so the other, I was making a new Discord and I got carried away mm. and I invited pretty Famously. much everyone. On, yeah. I invited yeah. everyone Famously. on my friends list into this new Discord, right? And it became well, you know it, it wrap it spiraled out of control uh, and uh, I had no before, idea. what Before it was. you continue huh? with your anecdote, I have an anecdote about your anecdote. <laughs> you okay. Ben is a recluse. Ben is not someone who goes out of his way to, like, talk to people. Uh, at least from my perspective, he does not, like, initiate yeah, conversations about anything that true. aren't awful. Uh, the only true. things he talks about are <laughs> awful things. And right. so when I get, uh, like, a Discord uh, link, like, a link from him out of the blue, like, like just, just you know, uh, one day I'm on my phone and there it is, a Discord link. And then he sends the same link again two times in a row, not mm. saying anything. Right. I'm forced to assume he's like hacked or like some he's like 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 some sort of sleeper agent for the Russian government. Yeah, that's what Major was saying. My mind and 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 now he's some sort of like Islamic bomber or this is like some <laughs> sort of like suicide stunt where he just needs me to join this and, and he's in a giant like group call and it's like all right guys this is it I'm going to kill myself live on air so get ready to come to this event. I just get not I, 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 I get this, pledge like, to my shock. Kickstarter to kill myself. Yeah. I, I get the shock of anxiety that runs up my spine when Ben sends me a link to something without saying anything. That, that's how I feel when I talk to you, Ben. I mean, it was yeah, funny that you, both you and Mage were, like, really concerned and I was just like, well, of course Ben would do this. Like, of course he would just, like, randomly make a chat and then, like, not explain it at all. Okay, um, so so go on, so, Ben. Okay, so, I sent, so I invited everyone on my friend and I just, like, spammed invites to, to basically everyone. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, everyone jumped in. It, it, it spiraled out of control. I had no idea what was going on and I was like, you know what? Never mind. So I didn't delete it, but I just left <laughs> it for a while. A couple hours later... Uh, I, well, like later that day, my Discord account got deleted or got deactivated because of spamming because I had mm. done this. It got reinstated today, so it's all fine. But for a while, <clears throat> I was dead and I and I couldn't keep up with what was going on in there. A couple hours after I made it, I just happened to see AJ Shoop say mod me, so I did. Mm. Then my mm. then my account gets gets deactivated. Oh, no. Two days later, it, it gets back. I come back in, I look, and now I see that what I I created the there's like a. Sp- Base station, like aliens, like role play, like bot thing going on. Like, there's like there's like commands and stuff. It's like yeah. a mini endless war, but like set in space or something. Well, you are um, you are the uh, the god in the religion of deism. Like, you just created it, then left, and then like came yeah. back and like what yeah, the fuck? that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I don't know what's going on there anymore. But, so is AJ uh, responsible for this? I mean, I can only assume so. I don't uh-huh. know. <laughs> Probably. Well, Maybe. he sounds like this a real Is this why there's two Bens in the too. chat? Huh? Is this why there's two Bens currently in this chat? Well, I'm, the Correct. other one I made be- when the other when my real account was was temporarily deactivated. Uh, he, he will be dealt that with. That that robot we, yeah, will we, be. Yeah, he will be sent to the you gulag. Lost all of your slime. How fucked up would that be? Well, I would have oh. just had crack transferred or something. <laughs> yeah, it would, it would have been fine. It that, would have been that, fine. That, that's like when you as die far as in rowdy fuckers. Ser- that's, when you, that's when you die in a Minecraft server, and and and, and then you say to your friend like opt me, like opt me, or like t- like TP me, and your friend's like, no, you have to walk back here. Those are the rules. I can't, I can't cheat. It's like that. Lol. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Minecraft guys. No. Uh, moving on. Uh, okay. Well, th- I mean, that's our one submission right now. It was pretty fucking tight. AJ, nice job. But we want more people. We want fucking more. I demand more. Send more we, to us. We want us. to play each one of these as the theme, one after the other, before the show it starts. It kind of like my we Weagua to get noises, so long, you know? It's but it's cycle. like a whole album. A whole album of PCP themes before the show, every single time. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. I mean, yeah, just send more people. You, you've heard it now. They're real. We'll play them on the fucking show. So send them to us. Send them immediately. Speaking uh, and of die. saying things on the show... Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna start like reading comments or at least responding to general sentiments of comments on the show as well. So yep. if you want to be read or have the general sentiment of what you're implying or saying be uh, acknowledged by us, <laughs> yep. then go ahead and write better things. I just imagine the the starry eyed fans with their poster of us on their wall be like, I can't wait. I dream for one day the general sentiment of what I think of their content to be acknowledged. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, but I mean, but on, on that front, uh, other other new thing. I, I, mean, I, I don't know if this is what you were building to, but we're talking. We want voicemails, people. Yeah. We want voicemails. So okay, here you go. Hashtag PCP voicemail. You got a couple options. Send us YouTube videos or links to SoundCloud. We tried fucking Vocaru. It doesn't work, so we can't do it that easily. Right. So it's got to uh, be one of those way, two. Don't, don't, make, yeah. don't make a visual for YouTube video because we're not going to watch it. Yeah, fuck that. It's it. not what it's about. It's not what it's yeah. about. And, uh, and uh, to anyone to anyone who, who's listened to those podcasts, please do not simply import the biggest problem versus style of humor into the voicemails that you do. Come up with your own thing. Yeah. As long as it's funny, I don't care. <laughs> well, yeah, there's this very specific style that I feel like some people might think you, is just the default for voicemails. It is not. It's just that universe. We have our own sense of humor. We're original around here. We don't want to get copyrighted. Well, true. <laughs> Speak well, for yourself. <laughs> what are you? I, have, uh, I, I happen to fancy myself quite derivative. I fancy myself quite the, the, the sketch the most charmer, derivative. if you will. Uh, but I don't uh, think I've said a funny thing in my life. <laughs> so uh, hashtag PCB voicemail begin immediately and uh, and we will we're, we're gonna review them so you don't think you're gonna slip a fast one past us but yeah send them on Twitter that's like the easiest way hashtag the, 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 PCB voicemail the, use the it ne- the next voicemail is hey guys uh, it's me uh, I'm really glad that you guys have endorsed me bombing the United States <laughs> government as and a bomb we detonates we, on the yeah. White House yeah oh fuck <laughs> oh god I guess we did I guess we did by playing this on our show, I guess we're yeah. liable. Well, <laughs> ain't that a fucking shame? Uh, <laughs> so, so okay, so that's happening. Keep more themes. PCB theme hashtag PCB theme. Twitter, send us that shit. We're looking for it. Hashtag PCB voicemail. We're gonna be looking for that shit too. That aside, it's time for the fan art section of our program here fan art corner Start with the fan art corner hashtag the, the, pcp fan the art pcp has such a visceral and and voluptuous ass it is back heavy and it is like super bloated now that's what this entire show is going to be yeah uh, yeah it's, 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 it's gonna it's gonna be two hours of topic and it's gonna be eight hours right of back end. maybe at some point if it gets bloated enough we'll just have like a like a bi-monthly like fan response video you know what i mean wait a minute we're, wait we're, we're a, a minute pcp mail to <laughs> Guys, yeah. I, there actually is another entrant in the PCP theme thing already. Well, I have like not right looked, now. Well, no, I mean this is from May 29th. I like I just searched for hashtag PCP fan art, and this came up. So uh, like three days ago. Okay. Yeah, three days. Okay. Ago. okay. Let me let me get the fucking link. All right, hang on, hang on. I will play it in the thing. How the fuck does this? God, no work, please. Fucking. Okay. Okay. Here it goes. Uh, let me fucking. Not tired. Do the thing. I'm doing the thing. I gotta push the button. Play this go. Punk bitch motherfucker. <laughs> All right. This is for the contest. No, it is. It is. I have AIDS. <laughs> Wait. PCP, bitch. <laughs> um, you know what? I think that was maybe a little better as like an ending song. I mean, yeah, the slower it was tempo. Slower. I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I think I think the the do 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 oh, by the way, by the would way. be like while we're talking like uh-huh. and welcome to the procrastinators mm, right. while it's playing. I think that's so, the idea. I'm so I'm sorry, I forgot to say that is from at Peter John Death. P right. P J D. There you go. Thanks, so, Pete. I can speak John. only for myself. Uh, the the cheat sheet to getting. A thumbs up on o- OP uh, mm-hmm. entrance, for me at least, is... What's focus- in an OP, Davu? Tell us what's in an OP, please. I guess we need to bring Jeff back to help us judge the... Jeff, yeah. Oh, We've Jeff, got a- oh, Jeff joined. Jeff joined that uh, that server that got me right. fucking booted from Discord. <laughs> that, that's why. That's why you, you know, got booted. <laughs> when you made that what's in an OP reference, I was thinking, ooh, how would I impersonate uh-huh. Jeff? I guess yell and have a lisp. Oh, shit, that's already me. Anyway, so <laughs> the way to get a thumbs up from me on your entry is mm-hmm. focus on, like, really, you know, uh, pour yourself over tone and catchy melody, and like, especially tone. Like, 
What's the tone of an OP? What's going to like make you feel like, yeah, listening to an episode right now? Because honestly, I think there's very few podcast openings that make me, that, that feel right to me. And mm-hmm. don't put an emphasis, possibly avoid like showing off how many random things about the PCP you know in your audio clips. Like, I don't care how actually like dedicated level of a fan you are of the group. For, as far as I'm concerned, someone who just like has the right musical sensibility but like has listened to like five episodes could very well be the one to decide to, to make the perfect theme. Sure, sure. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, I, I like the, the little clips of, of stuff in there, but I guess I would say for a theme song, I mean, it's possible that one of us could fucking die or whatever. So <laughs> if that person was in the theme, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, right. it creates complications. Yeah, so for I me just, personally, I like, I'd I mean, go without it. If I would... <laughs> I would almost never give the green light on a theme that has any audio clips like of us mm-hmm. at all because I just I don't know it just I, is weird. But I definitely I disagree. I, I would, think it's cool. I would never. Okay. I, like, I like the audio. Clips. Well, I, I'll I'm not trying to, to shit on my boy Peter John. Well, I'm Depp, sorry. But I, I, I actually I enjoyed say, that quite a bit. I would definitely, almost certainly, never hit the upvote on a theme that has like very clean, not even altered audio clips because then it's like, what? Am I already listening to the podcast? It's it's just kind of like weird and dissonant for me. I mean, that opening, I think, is, like, uh, starting with Digi, like, come on, Digi's fucking dead. We all know this. He's out. He's gone. This He's deceased. It's just, it's just weird uh, to get <laughs> clean voice clips in a podcast thing. I'm not into it. If you could get the voice of the PCP guy, if you could interview PCP guy and get him to do the intro somehow, you know, enter the anime land. Uh, and uh, well, actually, no. Uh, he's let's, banned. Let's, 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 does does Bakuman have an anime? Let's spend the the next uh, eight minutes coming up with funny voices for the PCP guy. <laughs> Hi guys, it's me, the PCP guy. Oh, that's I'm... it. No, we can't. We go got it. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, one and done. done. One and done, baby. There we go. <laughs> Uh, all right, settled, <laughs> settled. <laughs> well, true voice actor. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, that was it. So, okay, so those two are the contenders right now. I gotta say, between these two, I'm leaning towards AJ because I, I just like the upbeat. Uh, uh, I mean, I really kinda... like both of them. I, I think, think for like, for an opening, yeah. I think AJ's is is more of an opening. I mean, fuck, why don't we we can fucking use the first one to open and the second one for close it. We can use it all. We can have I can, it all. Yeah. Get rid of the original fucking song. We can get rid of the original. Yeah. It doesn't have to be gone forever. I mean, we could. Th- I mean, you it's know, we old. could use it. It's like a million years old now. I mean, I, I would. I would yeah. That 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 first one that we listened to, I would use that as the ED sometimes. That that's as far as that would go. Well, there you go. There you go. Uh, I, well, hey, keep sending them people. We're this this whole thing. We're figuring out. We're hey. we're, we're role playing sexually. Uh, we're gonna keep at it. Hey, Victor, I bet, I bet yeah. you're glad that you stayed for this. I'm sure you have a lot to say, and I'm glad. I think you're bet that you're glad you're here. I I am playing Fire Emblem Warriors Whoa. <laughs> and listening to the Dude. PCP, which I would do anyway. Victor, so. Victor, <laughs> did you fucking hear the rumblings? Did you hear the ground fucking shake when this Whoa. dropped? Because I'm about to tell you and the audience all about the greatest game of the fucking century is out right now. Jurassic World Alive has won. <laughs> yes. Jurassic World Alive oh is out. Oh my fucking god, are you fucking serious? Yes. I'm coming in my pants. I know. I'm the next Next, all summer long, I'm going to be running up and down the streets with pots and pans, banging on my neighbor's doors, screaming for their firstborn, and getting them to come out and play Jurassic World Alive with me. I'm going to be catching dinos, I'm going to be running from the cops, and I'm going to get that sweet ass Saurus up on my sore ass, and it's going to be sick as hell. Nice. I like the there. idea I that playing that. a dinosaur catching game uh, mean like like in the game you also have to avoid the police. <laughs> oh, so like oh yeah, of course. like uh, Need for Speed. Uh, cops pursuit, and dinosaurs are diametrically opposed. more dangerous than a T Rex. Is this, the this police is, commission? This is, all, <laughs> this is all real viewers. Check the show notes for for some hot screen caps of Jurassic World Alive. It is fucking out, and you better believe after the podcast, I'm gonna be running, sprinting down. On the street, cashing those fucking dino. That's the way to do it. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't even look sweet. not. It doesn't even look bad. I want to oh. play. Oh, it's it's like a Pokemon Go sort of thing. No, 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 no. Pokemon Go is a ripoff of Jurassic World Alive. They, you know, they stole their source code. This is very different. I see. This is the real shit. This is like Victor. You like. You like look how Florida smells. You're like chlorine and cum, <laughs> and that's what this game is. Okay, okay. It's chlorine and cum the game. 
Um, yo, all right. Fan art corner. Here we go. There's there's slim pickings. There's slim pickings once again. I searched PCP fan art on the fucking, uh, uh, in Twitter, and there's, like, nothing. We're still, you know we're still building up here. You know what there's infinite fan art of? Rowdy, Rowdy fuckers. fuckers, yeah. Rowdy fuckers cop killers, killers endless war. Every day is a fucking torrent. It, it's because we're wrong. cultivating. We're fucking cultivating. You, you cause have cause lore. We're, they're there day in, day out. We're interacting with the fans because we care about them. Because they're our fucking It's a vicious sons. cycle. It's a vicious cycle. We have the lore. People That's draw true. the lore. That's People true. expand the lore through mm-hmm. their art. And then yeah, that becomes yeah. new lore. It I becomes canon. I am so fucking grateful for every single fan artist for the Rafik I am going okay, through. But... I am going through the archives right now, saving every fucking piece that has not been archived. I'm going to I'm gonna be fucking putting them up in the board. Excellent. You've got the fucking boo. Yeah. Fucking the, the, it the, all, It's all precious. It's all precious and part of the culture. You know it would be beautiful be if one day, time. like in like 10 years, a fan who's like 11 years old right now is doing a lecture on a Rowdy Fuckers Cop Killers to like his friends. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna do one ourselves yeah. before he even fucking, can even fucking Yeah, we gotta to beat it, that fucking kid to the punch. <laughs> well, that guy. He, here's the good news. Uh, but, all right, much. Finish your point. Finish your point. I, I, I'm just saying, like, like it, it's like nice to see fan just for the masturbatory, like, oh, like here's my thing because other people are doing it aren't I hot shit but it's just like it's so nice to be like aware of the fact that you've made something that people like so much they're willing to like waste their lives making stuff for it yeah, yeah. of course really kind of like kind of like we wasted our lives making it in the first place yeah now it's I a mean, collaborative yeah. waste exactly shout to Nobi Retro PK and uh oh god Retro PK I don't even retro remember alright right, enough of this rowdy fuckers terrible right, bullshit right. here's the real deal there is one submission and it is glorious by Simsy this is a 100% accurate depiction of me Oh, uh, of course. There, of there course. he is. Uh, there he is. Yeah. Whoa. Well, what about I mean, the guy who drew the the, draw, the old draw Is that a Chibibaka? That, it's basically a Chibibaka. It's pretty close. What is, what is this pencil? Get out of here. Pencil? We've digital, outlawed pencils. Digital only. Um, oh, it's just it's a nice... It's pretty good. It's not but bad. But it needs to be fucking inked. Yeah. It does a really good, this thing. is a really good drawing that is That's frankly true. wasted yeah, by the fact that it's not inked or not It's not scanned. It's just you should, I mean, well, he, He's got a picture here. He should trace over this and computerize it and fucking digital yeah. artify it. You it know, just lines. do one of those. It needs line work. It needs inking, digital or otherwise. Yeah. Should, it's, all it's very these solid, should be it's very in ASCII. They should be in ASCII. And when you put it into a coder, it will actually play a video video game the ascii is actually code for you know you need you, it needs to have a one of a fucking scan <laughs> code so that you can scan and get best guy ever in skylanders right that's oh what my this God. is missing when are sure. we getting fucking pcp amiibo <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's cut like in two days check the well, red bubble that hey hey up. <laughs> some some guys linked uh, like like old fan art of uh, like uh, the the draw cast stuff. I don't know if now here's like the right place to show them because like we get a lot We're of, still fan we get a lot of dumps of, just... of draw cast stuff whenever a new draw cast comes out though. So like to show all of them in a PCP is, is hey, an hey, awful I'll, lot. Hey hey, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this. Uh, yeah. we will show them on the draw cast themselves. How about that? You fucking. That's a good idea. That's you, a good you, idea. You silly disheveled popper. Yeah, good, good, good thinking. All right, well, that that's literally it for today. There was one sketch. Uh, guys, hashtag PCP fan art on the Twitter. I know you're drawing it. I know you're drawing it. You're being a little shy. You're being a little timid. You don't want to show it because you don't want to get bullied by it's me. It's almost like as soon as we asked for it, it dried up. I mean, uh, to a degree, to a degree. Uh, yeah, because then they, they of, knew that we would actually be talking day. about it. Because then they knew yeah. that we would actually be commenting on it. And like, my, and they know that like Ben might comment on it. And like Ben is like, I mean, I'm also like, most of us are pretty fucking like straightforward. Where you'd be like, ah, oh, this sucks. Or like, here's why you suck. Or here's what sucks about you. Are you saying that they're intimidated of me? Yeah. Who wouldn't be? Who wouldn't be? Uh, I mean, we started doing this. We started doing this segment because we were getting, like, a lot. Right? We're literally undeplatforming them by giving them a platform, <laughs> by showing Un- their shit un- on the PCP. Yeah, so you got you got nothing to lose, people. You got nothing to lose and everything to gain. So, uh, like, like <laughs> fucking, fucking Nexus just made, like, a bunch of, like, best guy ever art, like, while he was doing his, like, Mia Math of a style challenge. And it's fucking incredible. Did it's you guys see, like, the animation he did? Like holy shit! It's because people aren't. Con- 
connecting with the podcast. They're connecting with yeah. the individual hosts. They're connecting I think that's with it. you I think from that's the Pokemon it. streams or, or me and Ben from our Rare Figures Cop Killer series. They it's don't interesting. actually care about the PCP anymore. That's old. Yeah, thing. yeah. I mean, that's what I'm getting as well. But uh, do it anyway. You know, because we like, because <laughs> yeah. like rad cons <laughs> don't happen enough. Like rad con generated fan art. That's for that's sure. That's true. That's, that's for true. sure. Um, Red do it anyway. Four when? Uh, is it soon. Radcon for ASAP. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I guess that's it for that. Uh, but but it's time for everybody's favorite part of the fucking podcast. It's time for the Q and A. This it's time is, for the, the, P- the Ask okay, PCP. The entire like past like forty minutes have just been. Uh, what's this? Oh, there's nothing. Oh, well, enough of that. Here's this next section. What's in here? Oh, there's nothing. All right. Well, enough of that. What's there the were some topic? things. There were some goddamn things. All right. You just you shred piece through of shit. This shit. All right. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna, time to take a couple of questions. Let's see what the fuck we got. Lightning round. Uh, this is a good one. This is one for Vic that I've been wondering a lot. Uh, at no. You mate asks, uh, why does Vic hate wearing shirts so much? I've been wondering that. Is it because you were all naked children when you were born? Vic? Uh oh. Is Vic dead? Uh, well, I keep, like, oh. sometimes I can't hear you guys for like 20 seconds. And Maybe, I, just I guess it's just go. connection. <laughs> I think you just died as well. <laughs> yeah. Can, can, can you hear us, Vic? Go. Can you hear we'll us? We'll never know. We'll never fucking know we're why here? he hates wearing shirts so much. I think just the Collins family are just naked children, and they never stopped being I've that. I've never seen Digi with a shirt. Oh, wait, I, no, no, I, actually, I, I hugged Digi's stomach while he was naked one time. I'm, okay, I mean, shirtless. Go. Right, <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, okay, let's... My, my pants were on, yeah. guys. My pants were on. Let's, let's find another one here. Um, okay, I guess uh, here's one. Uh, Steel Viper 77 asks, uh, what's up, one. Steel Viper? Among fan favorites, uh, I, by the way, I told everybody that Vix was here and that the subject was cooking, just to see how it would go. And the question was, uh... uh you, you mean that I said that? You mean that I fucking said that? No, in, I, I'm, in I'm on the Twitter. Show. I'm on the Twitter oh, okay, doing okay. it. Not the fucking... This is, this is from the... This is the pity question. Among fan favorites from Steel Viper, uh, such as the Ben Saint and the Chastity Fortress, what are some other <laughs> iconic PCP recipes? First of all, what is... What, what's the what's the, what's the, yeah, what's the Chastity that? Fortress? What's that? Okay. The, the Chastity Fortress is the impregnable mm-hmm. hamburger recipe that I made. The hamburger is this. It is. Uh, it, it, it is a bun. It is a buffalo meat. It is a buffalo burger. Uh, that Wait, has... I thought this was the munchie. No, this is Chastity Fortress. Chastity Fortress. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a much better name. It, 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 it's, it's, a monu- it's a monument to my virginity. Uh, uh-huh. which, which I treasure dearly. Uh, and, and, and on the buffalo burger, there is uh, pepper jack, uh, bacon, and then you get Worcestershire sauce and A1 sauce, and you drown it in it. Right. This, last I heard, this was the munchie, but what, all right. I guess things change. Well, okay, there you go. There you go. Um, I, uh, other, are there any other iconic pe- I well, mean, the, the, the poor boy's I mean, I'll re- sandwich I'll, I'll as made by here, the, the, For yeah, anyone the who doesn't know, the, the Ben Saint is mm, uh, mm. whole milk... Ice, a uh, juice from a from a bottle of uh, of uh, maraschino cherries, mm. a couple of the cherries themselves, and ice. And you Do you blend it. that? The, the, you just mix it. Okay. Okay. You, you, I mean, you leave the cherries whole. The cherries. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And the well, there's also the Ben, my real name, which I don't even know why I'm not bothering to say because it's not even a secret. But whatever. It's a lame name there's, anyway. But there's yeah, the Ben. Yeah. There's the the real Ben or the fake Ben, whatever you choose to believe. <laughs> who, who is the real Ben? Nobody right. knows. Right. You're yeah. the Ben um, that and that is hot coffee, hot shirts. coffee and cho- hot, hot coffee and chocolate protein powder. To eat it for breakfast. The, the, there's a variant it's, it of, of, it's of not the good. Ben Saint. <laughs> yeah, like I had that. Too decadent to even like like acknowledge what? as true because it will just kill you. What uh, is but this? sometimes what? whenever I want to make a Ben Saint, instead of having milk, I'll have orange juice. Yeah. What? But dude, but dude, ew. Ben. Yeah, I actually. What? I've never why, heard... why is that? Ew. They're both sweet How is that fruits. Not... No, that is, orange like... is acidic. Yeah, it's acidic like, mixed so? with the cherry shit is, uh, it just sounds gross. Dude, I mean, there's I, no wait, milk, you, so it's not going to sound in, in, Do you put the orange in in addition to the cherry or instead of the cherry? No, both, instead right? Of, no, 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 yeah, both. But there is no milk. There is no milk. Ben, I gotta say, oh. I don't know if I've ever heard well, you describe... Well, then that's just juice, you fucking idiot. <laughs> ever heard you describe the Ben Saint before, but I actually recently, just like a couple weeks ago, just like thought to put some chocolate protein powder in my coffee. So that's that's kind of... It's good. That's not the it's Ben Saint. It's pretty good. It works out pretty well, yeah. Oh, my... 
Oh, dude, one time I was elevated through the ceiling and I had to repair my roof because of this energy drink I drank one time. I, 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 it, it was, okay, I got a scoop of chocolate ice cream. Then I put in milk and, like, chocolate syrup. I mixed that around. Then I put in two, like, Starbucks double-shot energy drinks into it. I swirled it all around. Jesus. And I drank it, and I, and I could not stop. I could not stop. My, my wife asked me to stop, and I just simply <laughs> would not. Um, I guess, I guess that uh, a fried Oreo with a, with a Swedish fish flavored Oreo is, is, might be a Ben, a Ben recipe. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess that would be called the red, the red. Let me, the, well, the, the red the, stain. Nate, do you remember well, that, my, my Swedish fish addiction at Anime Expo? I do, I do. There was pictures of that and whatnot. That was delight. Hey, well, here's here's another recipe that Ben cooked up. I, I, I want to find what's another name for a recipe that would be Ben named. Uh, what can we give one real quick? Like the the Ben Jarman sandwich. The, uh, this isn't a, well. Okay, it's the I'm gonna call it a I'm gonna call it a because I'm gonna call it a so ugly. This is a so ugly, and what it okay. is it's it, it is. It is you take you know your your plastic case of uh, gummy vitamins and you melt it down into one yes! solid puck. Yes, that's a the, giant that's the puck so of ugly. congealed gummy vitamins. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so not ugly. even bad. It tastes uh, a little metallic, tastes a little like blood, but other than that, it's quite <laughs> delicious. Yeah, uh, that's just I, I, your I, own mouth bleeding. But go on, Munchie. I, I, I have a recipe called Bin's Soul, and you get nacho <laughs> cheese and beer. You put it in a crock pot and wait ten days and have it be on high the entire time. And you come back and, and just dump. The soul. entire d- dried corpse you know, meat into your mouth. You know, you know in Soul Eater, how like everyone's soul looks like a certain yeah. thing, and you can like see it. Like that's what Ben's soul looks like. It looks like that goopy film, that crusted, dry, acidic, Death Valley, uh, you know, cheese and beer melted crockpot mm. interior. Mm. That's what My it looks soul like. Soul sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Victor, can you hear us? I'm trying to to connect. I can. Can you still hear me? Yeah, yes. now I can hear you now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, uh, did you have an answer to the question from from our boy about why you never wear a shirt or why you hate shirts so much? I didn't. hear Oh, okay. The okay. So it was but, from um, at no because... you mate ask why does Vic hate wearing shirts so much? That was a full question. Because shirts are hot and they fucking suck. Okay. <laughs> and clothes are stupid, and I wouldn't wear any clothes if I didn't have to. I, I, I'm I not wearing a shirt feel... right now. I, uh-huh. I'm so against this. I feel the exact opposite way, where whenever I'm forced to be naked to take a shower, it's the most uncomfortable, like, unpleasant experience of my entire <laughs> life. I hate, ha- like, I feel just defenseless. I feel like if some animal were to come up and fight me, I would lose if I don't have my t-shirt on and <laughs> I, I feel similarly. It gives me, like, plus one defense. Why would yeah. I give that up, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, th- I understand I'm in that. Agreement. Being naked if is I'm, not that like, fun. It's no, overrated. It's I don't, yeah. I don't love being shirtless around other people. Just sure, I feel sure. like people are fucking looking at me. Uh-huh. And I, like I, I hate attention. Oh, oh they're looking but, at like, you, and then they're, I, they're thinking you look like a snack. <laughs> so same fucking thing. Ever. I, I hate all the comments about about me and and the fact that I'm shirtless. Yeah, but then yeah. I also hate wearing a shirt because it makes me itchy and hot, and I'm always itchy and hot. Understandable. So I just throw them off. The, but but I, it's also I'm more used to wearing no shirt than I am wearing a shirt mm, because yeah. at home I never actually. Wear a yeah, shirt, Victor, so. you. Be- being around you with your shirt off is actually what motivated me to like stop fucking become being gay so that I uh-huh. can become like as unbellied as possible so that I can one day like just not wear shirts. Unbellied. unbellied. What a way to say thin. <laughs> right. Well, it didn't quite yes. work because I wasn't losing weight the correct way. So I just like I want to fucking lose weight and like be somewhat fit just so that I can not have a shirt around a higher percentage of society. It would but be even, fantastic. But even. Victor here, who's who's significantly fit, still doesn't generally not wear a shirt unless he's like at home well, when you could just he, do like, that he's anyway. Nervous and awkward. Yeah. I'm not nervous around people. I'm just awkward. Oh and yeah, don't give a shit. Uh, you're just okay. the epitome the, of of confidence and social. No, no, no. Uh, I, I, social acceptance. You didn't hear what I said. I just make people uncomfortable and don't give a shit. You see? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what, what was? Yeah, I am, what, yeah. Go on, go on. I like. I don't mind not wearing a shirt around people, but it, it obviously depends on who it is. Mm. When it's a hot day, 
I'll usually just like wear like a Hawaiian shirt open mm-hmm. and that and and no shoes and that 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 feels good. I like I like no shoes, oh, no I, socks or I shoes, like no shoes. Oh yeah, outside. Yeah. No shoes is. Oh, I think it's because I'm coming right from California and wearing sure, flip flops sure. is just like what to do. And yes, yeah, sandals. Live your life. I'm wearing flip flops every day. When I come home, it's a ritual. I take off my shoes, take off my socks. That is ultimate pleasure. And I put on my sandals and it feels great. I also take off my mm. pants and put on yeah. shorts. Ultimate That's play. and but the reason it's up I there. feel. It's up there. The reason I feel mm-hmm. like wearing no shoes is okay, but like being naked is kind of <laughs> you feel defenseless, mm-hmm. is because like when you when you walk on your feet a lot, um, they get tough. They get the skin gets feels tough, and you stop like yeah. you know, yeah. if you walk on rocks uh, a lot, then you will not well, get, you, hurt, get you, hurt so much with, with if stuff. If you don't wear a shirt your, a lot, the then you toughen up, like, your skin, and you become, like, not, you become, not, like, the thing. You're, like, made of cement around your whole body, you know? I'm not saying that that's what's hap- <laughs> what will happen, but if you have, like, toned muscles and you feel yeah. like your skin is tough, it will feel, you will feel like you already have, like, padded armor on. Yeah, yeah. okay. Rather, I, rather than being, I mean, like, yeah. a weak, like, easily pierceable <laughs> sack of flesh. I, I feel like, also, it like, even though the feet, your feet and, like, legs are probably... The, the limbs you're, like, maybe least in control of, they feel the most powerful, and they feel like the things that you could most easily attack someone with. And so you yeah. don't feel your legs, like they're, they're weird. Yeah. Your legs are your most powerful weapon. That's true. Except for your are cock, they? of course. Can't oh, beat yeah. the yeah, cock, of you know. Well, that has that that's combines why... physical and psychological <laughs> into a single combo attack. That's true. L- look out, everyone. Duck down. Here comes a question from Line Slines. What would you change about your upbringing? Literally get castrated, and that is not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but your, your testosterone levels, though, they'll fucking plummet. Oh! Okay, if you I won't be a beast be, of a if, man. If I could just be a bara and have no dick, that would be yeah. my ultimate dream. Okay, okay. Here, you know what? Um, I would have had more money. <laughs> That's okay. it. What if? But wait, why? What if you could you could get your dick chopped off and keep your balls? Having more though? money makes well, everything easier, and you don't have to do yeah. anything. Yeah, I disagree. When you have money, everything is easy. I if fundamentally I could just disagree. Have no libido and just like it have not even phased me. That would have made my life so much better. I would have. Uh, oh yes, having no libido, I think, is what he's going for. I would have want to have been poorer. And live in a more packed environment, so I could have interacted no. with more people, so that I could uh, become a like a like 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 fucking um, like Steve Jobs. His dad was like a Syrian immigrant, and like I don't think they were very well off at, at the time. You know, I haven't fucking looked at it. The point that the, the, what I'm right. illustrating here is a tale mm. of like when you're poor and it makes you scrappy and resourceful, no. and you become a no. man faster. It, no, that's, it's that's not. What I want. It's not a they, fucking they, rule. No, it I'm, just it just it, the thing that's about real. that is like when it when it works yeah. out, it is such an unexpected yes. thing that it becomes an event yeah. that people talk exactly, about. Exactly, exactly, hippo. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, like it doesn't actually do that. Like sometimes I someone can become scrappy and escape from poverty, but right. that's the exception, and, and like it's right. notable because it doesn't happen. Right. Being poor and being underprivileged is not like yeah. a thing that like separates the weak from the strong. Yeah, yet- it is a thing that makes people weak and disenfranchises them. This is yet another like mm. future podcast I'm just going to like gut right now, which is the whole mentality of things going wrong can then be good. It's like no Things being good is good. Now I know challenges. No, and things fuck going... you guys. You don't know what you're talking about. And I know it's that, all bullshit. And I know that, you're like, you're right. And I know, you're right. Nick. You don't you know. know. It's better to be poor. It's, it's, it's better like, to be it's poor. Like, it's like better people to trying be poor. to rationalize. Goddamn, you fucking idiot. It's when people try to rationalize pain and suffering by saying, "Well, it makes me stronger." Here's the thing, though. If you don't I'm have to rationalize shit, if you all don't right, have on, to, if ahead. you don't have to have pain, or at least not as much, right? You can still choose to get strong. Through your own will. Now, I know there's plenty of people who will end why are, up becoming... Why are rich people so much more depressed? It's because they have too much shit, I don't and they think don't rich work people hard enough depressed. in their lives. I don't trust any statistics that say as much. And I, I do. I I'm preemptively trust, I saying I'm, no, it, I'm, I'm getting no either. stats on that. And, like, so here, here's the thing, right? I got some let, stats for let, you. Let's say there are, like, there is a scenario where they people... They probably get diagnosed with depression more often because right. they have more free time to go okay, to a therapist. let me put it this way. There's four scenarios, right? There's people who suffer, and as a result, they keep suffering, and they become shitty people because they've never yeah. had time to grow. Then there's mm-hmm. people who suffer and then make something of themselves and become excellent individuals. They, they emerge from that... Uh, that disparity from that difficulty and they become great. Then there's people who don't have to suffer and then don't become particularly remarkable people at all. That's the third scenario. The last one is people who don't have to suffer and become great, 
which do exist. Not every billionaire walking the earth today in their mega yachts was actually poor. Like, you know, like Bill Gates was not poor, right? He wasn't like a billionaire, but he had like access to a fucking computer way before most people did, and he made even more out of it. That is the ideal scenario, that you can actually become good because you want to become good. Because like, for what I see for most people, most of my peers, the, the, the classic stereotypical millennials who don't know what to do with themselves is generally in proportion to how fucking like stunted they've been or hurt they've been by shit not by how much stuff they have Daru, right all right uh, this, this is completely irrelevant because it doesn't matter no one's asking you why you would be less privileged it's a question for each of us individually i answered my fucking question True. here by yeah. saying that like uh, you know, no, that would probably probably on your yeah. answer that would probably if work I per- you, yeah. Well, you don't know if my this fucking life. This is totally life. not irrelevant. You don't know yeah. my fucking life. The point is, yeah. I eventually Except got to a point. Except grew up with you. Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm talking to Davu. The point oh, is, when I got to be a certain age, I figured out that I needed to work hard to get stuff. I just didn't fucking figure that out until I was like 23. And if I had figured that out sooner, yeah. I think my life would have been better. That's my whole right. point. So, so that you yeah, guys just that's jumped that's on and are like, oh, I don't poor, know. Be being underprivileged is really better. Yeah, that's true. Like you need like a, you need like a push. You see, because I I don't think my family is as well off as yours is. I had that. I had basically the exact same thing, and it was a push when I was like 18. <laughs> So yeah, that was very advantageous to me. You're right. Well, you that's know what? what I'm saying. Maybe okay. you're, that's maybe, my only point. Maybe you're fucking right. Maybe I have the same kind of mentality as you. I had to just get pushed. It was just a little bit of a nudge, and then I was fine from then on yeah, out. I think I've everybody been, needs to get pushed. I've been, well, because yeah. a lot of people, yeah. the pushing doesn't work. The pushing becomes shoving, and then it becomes struggling. Well, right? it's, it depends on the type. Like right. if you always have a like if you if your parents say you should get I a job or we're going to kick you type, out. I think if you're the um, type that's going to work hard and realize that you need to work hard to achieve your goals, I think yeah, that that will you, the, that yeah. It's gonna happen pretty much. Yeah, no. Well, you're, yeah, just, the, you're saying that it's all fucking nature. And just nurture, having more money is just gonna make you better poised to accomplish right. the thing. Well, Ben, right. you're like, just saying you that it's all nature work, and no nurture, and I don't agree with that. So, I think, okay, well, I don't think I, it's I, all nature. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So I, I think what would probably because it's hard for me to say like how did it change my upbringing without it being a change to like individual people or like I'm trying to think of like living situations and not people situations because there's a million ways I could think about people and interactions but like lifestyle wise yeah I would say if I were to like go use a time machine to, to turn me into more of a fucking art monster I would say that my family somehow becomes extremely dead broke around the time I'm like 12 so the point that I have to like get a part time job when I'm 14 and therefore I would get the same push I got but like 4 years yeah, earlier yeah. and that would give me a little bit of an advantage otherwise I can't really say because I'm really scared of like well obviously I'd want to be in an environment where I had lots of friends I'm like but if I, didn't, if I had friends growing up I might have never become anywhere near the person I am now and therefore would never like have any of the I same mean, thoughts it's, you it's know? in theoretically possible you might have just become a way better person, but I would you would definitely a not be you. Would you would art- definitely not yeah. be you, though. So it's basically saying that Davu would not exist. Right. So like, is that a plus? Uh, I, mean, I don't want to do yeah. interpretation. I would have changed that, <laughs> yeah. uh, like my father would smash, d- destroy my shins with a two by four every <laughs> uh-huh. day to strengthen them so that I could uh, run really fast. <laughs> like you mean like break them or something or like yes, yeah, smash them. Yeah, really like like Forrest Gump. Like you know, just Forrest Forrest Gump me, right. Daddy-o. <laughs> yeah, that guy. That guy ha- got it all figured American out. I wish I was retarded. I wish American I was autistic icon. and retarded. Yes. <laughs> you know that means that you need to be mentally retarded as well, so you can run really fast. Because oh, that's sorry, what worked that well for me. Forrest Gump. That's what worked out for him. He wasn't retarded. He was just a little slow. Uh-huh. He just learned differently. <laughs> right. <That's all. laughs> what, what I like about removing my libido is that it probably would not change who I become in the sense that, like, I would probably still be in the PCP. I just yeah, would have experienced yeah. less pain in my life (laughs) that's probably true uh Mm. yeah i mean having a sex drive is kind of hell uh in general just in general well that's that that. oh there was another question there was another pity question that i thought was was worth that was a yeah that that was pretty good who who is that again who who is that question from again that 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 is from lines lines uh, not bad killer not bad oh slames yeah yeah confirmed killer a confirmed killer. Uh, confirmed he, killer. Oh, that's good. Here's a here's a question <laughs> from Never Paint. All right, this is listen to the whole question before you respond, please. It is, uh, do you know. eat dried nasal mucus? <laughs> what are your thoughts what? about it? L- listen, listen. Delicious, disgusting. It seems to be a very divisive topic. Um, where I feel like this question is the making whole... some kind of statement, but I don't know what the <laughs> statement is. This man is is telling me Never Paint here is saying that like there's a there's a hotly debated 
it's it's a contested issue Eating whether or not it's style. good to eat dried nasal. Well, I guess he means boogers. I assume that's when it's what it dry. Is. Yeah, it's boogers. when it's dry, it's, it's disgusting, and you got to get rid of it. It's like eating a scab. <laughs> this is probably a joke. It's, it's probably is this a an joke. ironic joke question. Well, is I, eating I boogers yes. bad. Well, what I would have said. <laughs> well, I know. I know that some people eat their own. Like they, 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 they eat snot. Yeah. Because it's in their throat. Well, that's fine. And that's that's what can you do? I mean, yeah. if it doesn't come out of your mouth, then swallowing it is not well, eating it. If in uh, the pa- in the wait, past, does that make any sense? In yes. the past, yes. I would have well. answered. I have no idea why anyone would do that. I don't understand this at all, or relate to this at all. What the, I don't know, right? I had nothing to say. However, now my fiance does in fact do this, and oh, every time, what the fuck, she's dude, just like, I'm no. just like, wait, 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 why? wait. So what? 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 Say it again. No. Say it again. Uh, say yeah. it again. She has all sorts of tics. Like she, you know, she's like, you know, like. She like eats oh, her fucking. Uh, she eats her like oh, nails no. too, right? I'm like, you have to spit well, that out. You can't eat your well, nails. I mean, I, mean, I, I, nails. I mean, do you, well, do you eat them? I mean, I, no, I don't. I them, clip right? my nails. No, I don't get biting them. That sounds like hell. And then she also eats them. I'm like, what the f- what? And then like every oh, time, I, I, don't, I don't eat the nails. I I, I I like I like bite my nails when I'm nervous. Like, I don't even know you can I, digest. Yeah, I bite yeah. my nails yeah. and I spit them out. Yeah, like the fucking I don't normal get human it. Being. She like chews on them too. I'm like, what the fuck? And then she yeah, she, whenever she oh, yeah, sure. whenever she eats her boogers, I'm like, why? She's like, hey, it's actually a lot of nutrients. Uh, it's actually like good for your immune system. Uh, no, no, that's no, not. That's no, bullshit. Not. That's no, bullshit. No, 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 no. Ew! That's a I, fucking excuse. Yeah, yeah I know. If that's what's, if that's, that's it's just rich proteins. Yeah, in that, I mean, you know, if that's dude, right, then I'd rather be wrong. Per I'd rather I mean, be wrong. I mean, this is why I recycle my semen. You know, I gotta get those nutrients back <laughs> yeah, in my mix system. Mix it with some Fanta. Know? Mix yeah. it with some it's Fanta. Great, you know? Get that sperm count. Yeah, back. I gotta yeah, say, exactly. like the reason why I don't think about it much is that it's not even like in the top tier of like like uh, ticks, nervous ticks she has that like make oh, my life. Okay, let's not even get into this. Because I'm actually very curious. I want. Pandora's right. box. No, 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 no. I want to get into this. No, more. no, no. The actual worst Devo, one is, is please tell me just more. Pim- I really want. No, no, no. It's, it's it. just pimple popping, right? <laughs> so like, she pops pimples, but she also wants to pop uh, my pimples because it's therapeutic for her to pop my pimples. Now, well, I have okay. never been that's a not person. So bad. That's not so uh, yeah, bad. That's well, not that bad. the thing. No, that's right. terrible. Well, that's depends the worst thing I can imagine. I have imagine. never been someone who pops my pimples unless it's in a spot where it's hurting. Hold on. I mean, if you have a pimple, what are you going to do but pop it? I just leave it alone until it goes away and then wash my face fucking better and have a better diet. Right? Well, why would you not pop it? Well, That's I weird. only pop it when it's in like an annoying spot, like on like oh, the ear gross. or like it's Ew. right next to my nose. Why would you not pop it? That's because what it hurts. To do. It fucking hurts. You. D- 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 all right. And then like right. it hurts. I have a, I guess I have a low pain threshold. I think I've, I think I have like sensitive skin and shit. Right? Guys, do we have to talk about this? Can we so the get point away is, from this? I'll be like Wait, laying this in is bed. the pimple popping podcast now. <laughs> all right. Right. And I'll right. be like laying in bed and she's okay. like, "Oh, hold Go on, ahead. you got an acne right here." And I'm just like fucking screaming cuz sometimes they like really really oh really fucking hurt. And like for her <laughs> This is a nightmare. She's got very Yeah, this, this is she, this is dark. She's got very different skin from me. Like Wait her minute, skin am is I very right? tough. <laughs> like just to be able to scratch an itch, she does a level of scratching that would like leave my skin red afterwards, right? So that was one of the things we had to get used to was our very different like she'll just like, hey, want me to like dry off your back with a towel and she'll like do it so hard to like fucking give me rug burns. Like, no, no, no. My skin is like way thinner than yours. So like for her, acne doesn't really hurt that much to pop. I've taken my headphones off. Super (laughs) fucking like hurts to have, I guess. Like it's just annoying for her to have it so she constantly has to pop it. So like, yeah. Like there'll be times where I'm like just like, hey, let right. me pop this pimple, and I just fucking scream. Man. She's like, "Why are you being such a baby?" I'm like, "It I, hurts." I, I missed, I missed Davu. <laughs> when, when, I, when I'm walking down the street playing Jurassic World Alive TM, yeah. and I'm, 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 I'm walking out with my cane, and all these fucking whores and Je- Jezebels throwing themselves at me. Oh, can I pop your pimples? Oh, can I eat your boogers? <laughs> it's just so fucking taxing to have to walk down the street. I have to worry about that. No, no, you fucking succulent bitches. No, those boogers. are from my own. Those pimple puzzles are from my own <laughs> steaks and garnishes. You and I get to have my delicacies. I lost my appetite. Um, uh, the cooking has been yeah, ultimately overthrown right. this day. It's, it's well, it was cooking. the fucking question asker's fault. No, I mean, that's true. I, well, I guess it was my fault for choosing it, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's go back what? to the fucking lounge. Pick some la- real la- questions. I, I, I have one. I, I, okay, I, I all right, one. all right. I think this could be the last one, uh, which I okay. quite like. I think you guys might think it's retarded, but I like okay. it. Okay. By Chip Meisman, what's your food yeah. sona? If you were in an item of food, what would it <laughs> oh, be? Oh, avocado. Oh, Christ. I like this. <laughs> all right. Mm. Um, well, I would be something... Ben would be a cheap. Slim Jim. Ben would be a Slim Jim. I, I think I'd be... No, I think I'd mm. be a pawpaw. 
What the fuck is up? I gotta look this. Is it P A W? Like P A W? Yeah. I, I think uh, I'm not. No, maybe it's P P A W. Is it P A W? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I see it. I see yeah, it. Yeah, I, I would just be an avocado. That'd be my my thing. Yeah. I can I see an that. Avocado. You're very you're very uh, millennial. Yeah. No, wait. I, think hmm. I would be something cheap. Yeah, a Slim Jim. I would be. Yeah, I would might be, be a Slim Jim. like B- B- Ben. You're, you're something cheap, mysterious, and you don't know why you're eating it, but you are, and this is your life now. <laughs> All right. I I I got mine. I I would be um, delicious mashed potato with onion gravy. That's pretty good. That's not yeah. bad. I was thinking I'm soft uh, and delicious. Oh, is it like white candy? gravy or that brown works. gravy? Is it like brown Dude, onion I, gravy? I hate fucking white gravy. White gravy sucks. Brown gravy is awesome. I hmm, what would I be? I feel like it'd be some sort of meat product. Um, I, I feel a I protein feel shake. I mean, a protein shake. Yeah, uh, there's people who are way more protein shake people a pr- than me. A protein shake with raw meat in it. You know what I'd be? I, I know what Just I'd be. A steak I would be in my it. classic drink. Oh, I'm calling this. This is the Nate Bestman. It is water, chocolate protein powder, and fruit punch creatine. I'm drinking. I'm drinking Nate Bestman's every day. Uh, they're the worst tasting thing in the world, but they have nutrients that I want in my body, so I consume them. Uh, send me a picture. On my Twitter, at uh, bestest guy ever, of you drinking a Nate Bestman, please go buy your creatine. Nobody's gonna buy, buy your protein fruit powder. punch creatine. There's gonna be some nobody, lifters out there who already have it around. That. Fruit punch creatine, chocolate protein powder, and water. Uh, yeah. There you go. That's what I am. <laughs> That the it's, ultimate it's, utilitarian snack. That's what it is. It, it's hard to think what kind of food I would be because I don't know. Like, yeah. it's not like what food you like. It's like what food like like in, encompasses. I mean, your you beef. do l- resemble a stacked hamburger quite a bit in most yeah, ways. I, 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 in I was most ways, about a hamburger, but mm-hmm. I, like like our our. I are feel like you would quirky? be a fruit hamburger. Are they what? Are they quirky? Do, do, do they have <laughs> funny jokes? Yeah, you you would be wait a a, minute, a, a like a, a burger, but with like a I candy in it. I was I know what Munchie would be. Munchie would be what appears to be a burger, but when you bite into it, you find out that each layer is assembled from different pieces of donuts to deceive you oh into thinking that it's a burger, shit. which Ben and I ate as children once. Sex dreams. Wait, wait, what did we? Eat? Uh, Munchie, if he was a food, he would be that like donut burger that we once had oh, at that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, a good. Um, that's yeah, quirky. They at, they had them at Honeydew. That's at right. Honeydew Donuts. They made yeah. it as like a joke, and we ate it for real. At, <laughs> there, 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 there's a restaurant in Boston called Boston Burger Company that I quite yeah. like, and they have a bunch of weird, like retarded, like novelty burgers. Uh-huh. And one of them is like a burger with like a ton of like honey on it. And I would probably be that. Okay, dude. Right. Yeah, I guess to like add in a, a random like c- cooking comment, I have an idea for a breakfast burger I've done, which is bagel for the bun. You still have a mm. hamburger, right? Right, and you have cheese and egg, and then maybe like mustard or something like that. Just breakfast burger you know it's great shit <laughs> it's almost like that's what a breast burger is <laughs> yeah. i don't know i've not been to restaurants that have that necessarily well team i remember when you made breakfast burgers tom, what food are you? Yeah. Cool. yeah oh yeah tom's here yeah <laughs> i get to be a food too oh i forgot Vic's here not before, before tom food. yeah tom, tom first. what is tom. your food <laughs> um i guess my food would be I don't know. I think you'd be like a bag of Funyuns. A breadstick. A bag, a bag, a bag of, Funyuns, of Funyuns, personally. I, I, yeah. I can't that, remember the last yeah. time I've had Funyuns ever. A rice it's been a while. Kit. Just like how no one can remember you, Tom, because you're not yeah, fucking yeah, Tom uh, uh, in the yeah, podcast. Uh, 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 I was about to say, Tom would be a garnish, but people forget that he's there, and they can't Oh, <laughs> Only because he's not speaking up enough. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go with it, sure. You've been banished. Victor, uh. what's, what's your favorite question? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm a uh, I am a General Tso's chicken because mm. I'm sweet and spicy, oh, a little shit. serious, oh, Whoa. and uh, completely inconsistent. <laughs> no, <laughs> Dude, this is the first time that the original Spicy Bros are all back together again. The original Spicy You're Bros right. are yeah, all we here. Made we That's made true. it. That's well, true. we were all there at Radcon Three. Oh, we, we were, have, we, we, we were I, technically I all together. About it. Uh, yeah. Victor, That's true. have you seen the Spicy Bro Pact? Have you seen that video? Which which the one? Latest one? Like the one with me, you, and Ben? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 It's, it's fucking madness. Yeah. It's legendary. Um, beautiful. Uh, can we, can, please, for old time's sake, on the count of three, can we get a spicy bros, all three of us? What about us? We're also spicy bros. We were in yeah, Radcon. Yeah, but these are the original. These are the original. Yeah. You're right. I you guess guys... I just don't fucking matter then. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, the second it. one didn't count. Spicy, spicy bros! bros. 
spicy, bro. Yeah. I'm, a I'm a spicy, bro. I'm a spicy, bro. the first one. Every, all, all, I'm spicy. All others are vice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nate, Nate, you're a spicy, bro, uh, two times over now. That's true. Yeah, I am. I fucking am. Oh, yeah. Look forward uh, to Spicy Bro Back 2 coming out soon. Looking forward to it. All right. That's, uh, we're, we're c- concluded. The end yes, of questions, so. the end of everything. Thanks all for the questions, everybody. Uh, all right, so that's our, that's it. We're done with all our bullshit. Now, uh, I, we, we, we must simply say patreon.com slash theprocrastinators. It simply must be done so that you will give us uh, the money. So that at $1, you're in our fucking patron chat. That's fine. On Discord, $5, you get all 15 bonus episodes that are currently out. There's a new one out. Right now, it is sitcoms, motherfucker. By the time you hear this, the sitcoms PCP will assuredly be out. We haven't even heard it yet, but I'm sure it's going to be the best one by far. I have no doubt. Uh, that's a bold claim, but it's sticking with it. Uh, but uh, fortune other episodes, so fuck you. You got plenty of shit there. Um, what do we got? Ha- uh, 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 at TP Krasnir's on Twitter. Announcements and all that shit. Ha- uh, hashtag Ask PCP. We announce on Saturdays when we record... Get the questions in there. V- Victor, also, I'm sure they know where, but where can they find you? Yes, please. You gotta, yeah, I'm on Vic and Hope on YouTube. It's Vic and Hope Forever with the Let's Play show, but it's really a podcast. And it, everyone should go watch Vic and Hope because nobody watches it. Oh, true. What, what and every day a new Vic and Hope comes out. <laughs> the good Digibros gets well, sh- 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 day, pushed down yeah. further and further into the past. One day, <laughs> one day, we'll unearth it and it'll be redeemed. Uh, yes. please soon, everybody. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, that's it. Uh, anything else? Oh, and of course, everybody, do not forget. Please hashtag PCP theme. Make us theme songs. Play them on the show. We're we're in a contest. It is a real contest. I swear. Believe me. Uh, we you know year two more. We've <laughs> got coming. two entries now, so it's real. It is real. It is actually officially real. There is yeah. a competition going on now. Uh, hashtag PCP fan art to fucking get that in the fan art part, and that's literally it. Thank you for being here, everybody. Good fucking we'll see- bye. Oh, and, and again, uh, thanks to Victor for being here. It's been a pleasure, dude, ever since yes. Radcon 3. Now, we didn't even say this at the beginning. I should have said fucking Victor is a cameraman to the stars. He was the one who recorded all the important shit uh, that was filmed at Radcon. Oh. It was incredible. It was stupendous. All the Radcons. Every Radcon. That, that's true. Every one. He's been fucking there. <laughs> he's he's definitely a, a strong ally. And every ally. Bronycon. Not Woo! inaccurate. Damn right. Damn. That's old school shit. He's in the fucking Horseshoe Crew, basically, too. This guy, this guy is the real. Yeah. He's real. He is real. Quote, quote, he is quote, not fake. Quote, quote from Bronycon era Munchie. I did not touch the kids. As filmed <laughs> by, by Victor. Indeed. Oh, yeah. And, uh, uh. Wait, was that Victor? Oh, yeah, it was. There will be links in camera. the description to, to Vic stuff as well. So check him out. Uh, by the way, uh, Digi's brother, did we mention that? Did we mention that? Oh, uh, that doesn't matter. Who cares? That doesn't cares. matter. One of the yeah, Digi bros. Relevant. That's not that gotta, we care about. He's the new I got to divorce my, per- my, my content from his so that my audience will actually have more than, like, 300 people in it. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Uh, all right, everybody. Thanks for being here. We'll see you soon. It's been a wonderful fucking time. We'll see you Bye. Bye. Yeah. 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 Uh. I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm sorry.